I it think you did good. too. Um, so is there any rules? Any rules before we start, gents? No, we're just we're we're, we're just oh, gonna yeah. chat. I think the only rule oh, okay. is people who aren't me, me or STK or Trini. Uh, I don't know what he wants to go by. I think people who aren't us don't talk. I think that's the only the only rule, really. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fine by me. Um. Yeah. Okay. And apparently, apparently, we know each other. Do you remember a conversation with someone called Red Bat Media? Yeah. Yeah. I've met the guy before. Do you remember you and I having a conversation together with him where we were like showing problems in his view or something? Yeah. Yeah. I've talked to you like two different times before. I also talked to you way back when I think about abortion, like around the original time that you opened up your Discord server. And then I think we talked about like race and IQ. Oh, no. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah i used to talk sometimes about shit like that um mm -hmm. but i think i had some confusion around that subject um that's uh, sorry i don't remember these fucking conversations no um, i didn't expect you to you have like thousands of them so i don't blame you i mean thousands might be an overstatement but i have, I have lots of them but um okay yeah so this is clear to what i wanted to take up about the video and mm -hmm. you know it's a it's a disagreement um it's really like two of them but okay. we'll we'll see if we can kind of keep it positive here. Um, okay. Given that apparent apparently we have in the past, not that I fucking actually I don't know that. Did we start yelling at each other the last time we spoke? Uh, no, I think we've had mostly cordial interactions. Actually, well, there you go. Okay, good. Um, okay, so the first thing is that like this video, it seems to be built around attacking um, the syllogism that. You, presumably you take this to be representative of my position because you you have it written as like ask yourself's basic argument. Yeah, so what I took your position to be was more or less one of skepticism of her ability to actually prove anything she said. What I thought you did was you present kind of a devil's advocate argument to probe that, to see whether or not she could actually disprove something like that. Correct? Okay, so there... Not really. There, there's a mm. there's a slight there's a slight confusion there. So like, I didn't actually give an argument. If you watch that video, um, and there's like there's moves you could make there where you say like, okay, sure, you didn't like explicitly lay out like premises and a conclusion, but mm -hmm. even if I grant that, this is still representative of your view, right? And actually, even at that level, it's not like I could raise a few things, but like just a deal breaker is like I don't affirm that second premise. Yeah, I'm not even saying that you actually believe this. I'm not clear on what your beliefs are regarding this topic. Like I said, what I thought was the case is that you kind of implicitly put this out there is what I understood your position to be basically that if it was irreducibly normative, there has to be some underlying inherent norm that's out of accord with um, racism and also simultaneously rationality. Now, obviously, I don't know if you actually believe this or not, but I took this to be the implicit argument. And so yes. I guess we can kind of quibble about whether or not this is your intention, but this is absolutely what I thought you were implying as kind of a probing argument. Well, I don't I don't think we have to quibble over it if we like because we agree. Like, I mean, presumably you're not going to sit here and tell me that this is my position if I tell you actually that I don't sign off on part of it. Right. Like this is just a kind of best attempt to like summarize what you think my view is. Well, it's not even that I thought it was your view. Right. I think you can make an argument without it being your view. Like I basically made that argument to kind of test it out right and see what i thought of it so it's not that i per se think that it's even your belief or your view it's merely that i thought you just put that out there kind of into the ether to see whether or not she could just prove something along those lines if you don't agree i'm not even saying this is your position i'm just saying that i thought you put that out there as kind of a test i'll just say because avi just came in here we're just mm -hmm. only me and uh, trini are going to talk here avi um yeah so i didn't actually so i understand you're saying you don't mm -hmm. necessarily think it's my view. You think that nonetheless, I, 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 I yeah. implied it as like a devil's advocate kind of argument. Mm -hmm. Okay. So even that, that's not actually the case. Like I don't like for me, it's like, I didn't, I didn't actually put out any kind of argument in that video. And this isn't like representative of like any kind of like devil's advocate position. I would try to run because that second premise, that would be like, really fucking hard to establish like i wouldn't like run something like that like the big thing here is this premise too racism does neither it's like mm -hmm. that's something that it's like my my doxastic state there is going to be similar 
to like around um, belief in God, right? It's like, I'm not making the claim God doesn't exist. I'm just not convinced of the claim that he does, right? Like I'm not making mm. the claim that racism does neither of these things. I'm saying I'm not convinced that it does. So well, we're yeah. talking about your intention here. And like I said, I mean, we could quibble about that. I already said before, it's not that I think this is your intention. That wasn't my claim either. If you think that I'm just saying that for the sake of saying that, that's fine. But fact of the matter is, like, we're just kind of at an impasse here. I mean, if you have something that you think, like, definitively proves you are not making that argument on some implicit level, like, you could present it. But otherwise, I mean, it's just kind of speculative. Okay, well, I mean, I'm telling you it's not my position. And it's not an argument I was making. Uh, so is you, like, are you telling me that you're going to just... You know, what? Hey, Google, shut up. Sorry. Um, hey, Google, stop. One second. I should also turn off my aircon. Um, yeah. So, no, like this isn't um, this isn't like representative of like my thinking here. Is all I'm saying. Um, and like, I understand mm -hmm. that you watched the video and this was your takeaway. And mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think it's like a radically like unreasonable takeaway or something. But I'm just clarifying like this isn't actually my view. So we're only we're only at an impasse if you're saying that you're going to like insist that you like know my views better than me or something. Well, I didn't even say it was your view. So I think that would be a misunderstanding of what I said. What I'm saying is it felt like that implicit argument was made as kind of a litmus test. And so it's like the Socratic method, right? So for instance, if someone asks you a certain type of question, obviously there will be an underlying implication. Now, I think in this case, you were implying an argument for the sake of seeing whether or not she could. I think you even said the exact words of she couldn't possibly defend this. And so what I take that to mean is you're very skeptical of her defeating an argument that you might even see as very unreasonable or potentially untenable. But it's hers. So you find it very difficult to believe that she could defend it because from what I understand, you just are very skeptical of her philosophical capacity in general. Well, that, it is true that I'm skeptical of her philosophical capacity in general, but okay. all, all I want to clear up. So when I say not my position, I'm including in that like a position I would run as like okay. a devil's advocate kind of thing. Like it's not it's not my view. It's not a view that I would run as a devil's advocate position. Um, I mm -hmm. just like, do you, do you grant that or are you kind of like insisting it's my view? No, I'm not insisting it's your view. Like I said, that was ever my thing. I just thought you put that out there to see whether or not she could test it. That's all. If you I, disagree I, yeah, with right. that, that's just the takeaway I had. Like, it's okay. like the Socratic method, like I said. I think that if you ask a certain kind of questions, there will be questions. I don't think that necessarily even means you believe them, but I think you are putting out there as like a form of skepticism, right? It's almost like um, it's like the, the Cartesian demon, like... Descartes might not actually believe this, but he's putting out there to probe beliefs, basically. Okay, but I'm, I'm telling you, this is not a devil's advocate argument that like I'm running. So, do you accept mm -hmm. that, or are you insisting that it is? I feel like it was. I don't know if that was your intention to do that. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so it's it's not my intention, and mm -hmm. I mean, I don't I don't know, like, I don't. I guess I don't know what to say when it reaches a level of like someone is kind of like insisting that your view is some like. Just let's just be totally clear. I'm uh -huh. telling you that this is not my view. Are you right. saying this is that that this is my view or my devil's advocate position or something like that? Or I'm saying, yeah, not? I'm saying that you've implied some devil's advocate argument. I don't think you did it on purpose based on what you're saying, but it absolutely comes off like that. Like, I think you can accidentally imply certain arguments that happens all the time. Right. Okay, like, but certain I, people but I'm imply not things I, that entail stuff. Right. But I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not questioning if. I've already told you that I don't think it's radically unreasonable for you to take something like that away, mm -hmm. but I'm clarifying that that's not what I'm doing. So like, like this, this should be like, this should be like, or absolutely. like just as far as you can tell. All right. Well, okay. If you definitively yeah, well, think yes, that I would far, presume well, wait, some, did, like external did, evidence or something, as, right? As, as definitively as one can like be aware of their own like mental states or something like it seems like this is like uh -huh. a weird thing to get caught up on. Like, I'm just telling you, this is not what's in my mind. Like this argument here, not my position, not a position I'd run as like a devil's advocacy kind of thing. Yeah. And you um, could unconsciously do things. And I feel like that was okay. unconsciously something done okay. here, you know? Okay, like, but, right. Okay. And you can, you can say that, sorry, it's a little frustrating. I'm trying not to get frustrated, but you can say mm -hmm. that, but holding my feet to the fire for it is just, it's, it's attacking like, Let's just be clear, okay? This is what I want mm -hmm. you to grant. If you were to say that this is my position 
or my devil's advocate position, you agree that would be a straw man of my view because I'm telling you I'm not making this argument. I never claimed it was your view. For me to be straw manning, oh, you would have okay. to assert that's well, your view, which no, I've said from no, the wait, other side. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, wait mm -hmm. a second. Well, there's two things. So first of all, the video does say ask yourselves basic argument. But uh -huh. set, setting, yeah, but setting that aside, right? The straw man, I'm just saying, is if it were taken to be representative of my view, right? Uh -huh. Which I think is reasonable, given it says, ask yourself's argument with a colon, then this argument, right? right? But if, you can make an argument like it, we established without like meaning to or actually believing in it, okay, right? But wait, wait a second, please. We got we to gotta not get so nippy. So let, let me just catch my uh -huh. train of thought, because wait, if Go I put it. in like that, I can, I can lose my thoughts easily. I have ADD. Okay, my bad. Go ahead. Um, no, it's fine. C cut in if I'm misrepresenting you or something, but just let's not mm -hmm. let's not just cut each other off all the time. When we don't have to. Um, yeah. So you can like try to say that I have thoughts that I'm not aware of, and those unaware thoughts are are like this argument or some shit like that. But like, just to be clear, like if someone were to say this is my position, right? This is the argument that I'm delivering. Mm -hmm. We understand that that would be a straw man. Right. Unless unless you want to. Yeah, you can argue someone has beliefs they aren't aware of. Right. But in terms of if you look at what I actually think, what I would actually put forward. Right. Let's just be clear. I would not sign off on this. I would not run this as devil's advocate if you actually put this argument to me and ask me to do so. OK. Mm -hmm. do we, so we understand if someone were to say it's my position, meaning I would do either of those things, that would be a straw man. Right. What I okay, and so just to be clear, I want to give you a yes or no, so you don't feel like I'm dodging. Yes, that would be a straw man if okay. I said that was your position. What I'm trying to clarify is I'm not stating that's your position. I'm stating that I thought that was an implicit argument you made. I don't know if you made it by accident or not, but I'm not saying you made an argument which you believed in or that you affirm or that you actually outright assured in some doxastic sense. What I am saying is that I thought you implied it. So basically, what I'm just saying is I thought it was maybe an accident or something. But I wanted to address it. Sometimes people will make arguments that have certain entailments or certain views or certain implications, even by accident. You know what I mean? Okay. Sometimes you'll say just, that you don't even believe. Okay. Right? But it, sure. But I did not say this. Right? Like, I just, I don't understand why we're hung up on this. Like, I'm glad we you agreed, grant. Yeah, we agreed on that from the outset. Okay. So, yeah, we grant mm -hmm. that I don't, that I don't say this, that I don't sign off on this. If anyone says this is my position, that's just the straw man of my position. We agree on all that. Right? Yeah, yeah, we can say that's not your position. Yeah, I'm perfectly okay with that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and any and then obviously following from that, any attack on this position is like not going to be. I mean, it's just analytic. It's not going to. Yeah, be I thought it was like position. a challenge, right? So like, for instance, Seth in here, you know Seth, right? Yeah, he's argued for the ethicality of pedophilia, and then he's made arguments in favor of that that he'll defend within a given argument. But I don't think that, for instance, he's actually some kind of like pedophile apologist or anything like that. Right. So I think you can defend certain things without believing in them. And I think even in those arguments, he's accidentally defended things. And so that's what I'm saying. You can defend them in the midst of an argument. Maybe you were just trying to insult her. And so you accidentally like made some kind of argument. Just kind of like, a, oh, you're so stupid. You could never even challenge something this simple. Right. Well, well, well no, Tr Trini, like you're you're mm -hmm. extracting what you believe is my intention. Right. And I'm telling no, you, I'm not saying as, it's intention. yeah. OK, well, what you believe is going on in my mind. Right. Like, uh -huh. I'm just saying you're like there's something really weird going on here. Of Like when you say I might have made an argument without realizing it, it's like. I don't really know. I don't really know what that means, except that someone else misinterpreted me, right? Like, my intention is not to make this argument, and I take it that my meaning is just whatever I intend, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, as long <coughs> as long as we agree that this is not representative of my view, it's not representative of a devil's advocate position that I'd run. It's not representative of anything That's I said in that the video. Second thing, yeah. When you say that you'd run, sure, actually, I'll agree with that one in particular. I don't think you were doing it on purpose, but it's like with the Seth thing, right? No, but you're still sorry, yeah, arguments can I, can that he doesn't I cut in there? Okay, Go wait, for it. That, uh -huh. That's the place I want to cut in because you keep saying, I don't think you did it on purpose. The implication right? is I still did it, right? But exactly. I don't understand it's from the outset. Yeah, but I don't understand what it means to say I did it if that doesn't just mean you misinterpreted me because I take it that what I did is going to be determined by my intentions, right? You don't like, believe in what? the unconscious mind? I don't see, I don't see how that's even relevant. 
you don't think you can act on underlying dispositions and not just solely intentions? Yes, I think that you can. Sure, yeah, so that's wait, irrelevant, but, right? That's not know, the wait, sole determination. Wait, wait a second. When it comes to, when it comes to, what? Well, wait. You're you're trying to say that I'm. So when you say making an argument, you really uh -huh. mean you really mean that I mean just putting I, one forward. Yeah. Well, well, we have to. Well, one second. You mean that I actually have beliefs that I'm not aware of from which you can construct this argument. That's what you're trying to say? No. Okay, then I don't understand what you mean when you say I made this argument. How did I make it? You accidentally asserted an argument. I don't think I did. I didn't give premises. I know, and I said I from the outset that I think this is just a room of speculation. I mean, if you want to talk about this, we can. But like I said, I think it's just outright speculative. This is just what I thought you were implying. Okay, but you now you're saying huh? you thought now you're saying you thought I wasn't playing it. So do you now understand that it, like I'm asserting it? Well, it seems like it seems like there's a bit of back and forth. It seems like mm -hmm. it seems like sometimes you're saying that I made this argument and other times you're saying you thought I made this argument. Well, those both of those are the same thing, right? Like I'm asserting not... that it's true. Okay, so when you say made this argument, what do you think it means to say I made it if I had like no uh -huh. uh, if my intention was not to convey it? You accidentally asserted this argument. You accidentally what? It, what, it, uh, what does it mean to ahead. say? Yeah, just but what does that mean though? How how have I asserted this argument? I think you accidentally laid out reasons to be skeptical, wait, like but of her asserted, ability to challenge this argument. Wait, right? but a, wait, but when you say laid out is also kind of vague. Like when you say I mm -hmm. asserted it, right? Like it's a bunch of propositions. What are you saying I did to those propositions that I believed them? that I spoke other propositions that entailed them? Like, what are you trying to say? So I think you asked questions that put forward these propositions that in an ultimate sense were supposed to imply some kind of conclusion, which she would find very difficult okay. for her to change. Okay, okay. wait, yeah. I think I understand. So correct me mm -hmm. if I'm still not understanding, but you're saying, when you say I made this argument, you're saying that I put out, I stated other propositions that entail the propositions that make this argument. No, no, I gather that from questions. Cause I don't even, well, okay. So what you specifically said, this is what I'm referring to. So number one, you were like, okay, I don't believe that she can challenge this kind of like thing, right? You were essentially saying that if you want me to get the specific quotes, I can just read through the caption transcript on your video. But basically what you said was you would find it so crazy. You found it basically impossible for her to challenge some kind of view like this or essentially to defend the view that she has, right? Which is in opposition to the view that I think you're asserting the conclusion of. And so what, when you're, go ahead. Well, I, I, what I said is that I don't understand how she would argue for the conclusion. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so what I'm trying mm -hmm. to understand is when you say I made this argument, I think it's kind of loose language. Like, made it certainly doesn't mean I directly stated these propositions. It apparently yeah, also from the doesn't. Yes, was implicit. Yep. Yeah. It, it it apparently also doesn't mean that I even intended these propositions. So, Correct. and if it all if it also doesn't mean that I stated other propositions that entail these prop, I just don't know what you what you mean when you say I made the argument. Okay. So essentially, what I'm saying is when you ask certain questions, right? They seem to imply something. Like, so for instance, you know. What underlying rational norm would she be out or would some hypothetical person be out of accord with if they're racist? Like what norms are yeah. at conflict? Are, are, right? Can I can I ask something? Are you saying uh, that that are you saying that that implies that there are no such norms? I'm saying that. Yeah, that's what it feels like. You're putting that out okay, as a challenge. But, well, OK, mm -hmm. but then so if you saying that I made this argument relies on that implication, that's yep. going to require an argument. Do you have an argument for that? wait, I didn't say that I knew this, right? So you can say that I need an argument. I never claimed to know this. Well, so wait, I did do you, say... Do you, think, do you think that you can mm -hmm. even raise the probability of that being true, like, above, like, 50%? I mean, what you're asking is, do I know this? I think it's true, right? Never did I claim that I had well, some sound argument for this, can, did I? I'm asking if you can justify it, really. Okay, and then I can just ask you the same, right? Can you justify that is not what you said? Now, presumably, wait, you have wait, an argument... Well, what, right? wait, wait, I could say I was agnostic, right? You're actually okay, making a claim that. there, right? Wait, prove that you were agnostic. That's a claim. Wait, you were making a, dos, a doxastic claim. You were claiming that you had a particular lack of mental state. Prove that. 
how how am I to wait a second? I feel like that just that was a you were asked right the there. same thing one, that I said, right? You were gonna ask just, how just you prove one, your one second, one second, one second. You're going okay. too fast. We have we have to be, we have we have to be slow here. So what you said is that by making this argument, what you mean is that I stated a proposition that um wait, in fact now I don't even remember what you said. I stated a proposition that entails this, or are you saying something other than that? Okay, what I'm saying is you asked a question which seemed to raise that as a challenge, right? Oh, you think yes. you think the you think that that asking the question implies that I have the belief. Not that, that you have I, the if belief. I, if I ask what norms, yeah. that implies that I believe there are no. No, norms. not even that you believe it. Just that you are wondering whether or not she could, in some way, attack a claim like that. Yeah, that that's right. But I'm talking about you have to actually get to the propositions in this argument, though, right? Say uh -huh. I made this argument, you have to somehow get to this positive claim: racism does neither, right? I'm asking, mm -hmm. what did I say that entails that? The question. That's what I took it to be. I mean, yeah, I, I understand, but like, if right? I, do you, yeah, but I'm telling you, that's not like. Look, as far as I'm aware, I don't sense any shit like that in my head, right? Mm -hmm. If you're saying, yeah, so when you say that if I if I ask, yeah, so if I ask what norm would that person be out of accord with by being racist, right? You want to say that means what, that I believe that there's no such norm or not? No, I'm saying what you do believe is you're skeptical of her ability to challenge such an argument, right? So I sure. thought you were laying out implicit propositions by being like, Okay, like, what if someone said this? Could you really actually disagree? Are you the kind of person no, capable no, of disagreement? No. That's no, what I'm, I think. No, so mm -hmm. <laughs> just to be clear, this mm -hmm. second proposition here, are you saying that this is entailed by something I said or not? I'm saying it's entailed by your question, so yes. Okay, so th there's like, there's one problem there of like, a question can't actually be you know, you can't can't really put it into an argument and derive things from it. No, I'm not saying the question itself is an argument. I'm saying it implies you, a proposition, I, I, right? I well, it's you can't. It's weird though because technically, like, you can't put like you can't say this implies that if one of them isn't propositional and a question isn't a proposition. I don't mean imply in like but, like a like a logical conditional sense or anything like that. I mean imply in like the colloquial connotative sense of I think this is what you're getting at. Are you saying you think that's what I believe? No, I think what you what do is, believe. Yeah, 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 this is what I believe. Wait, wait, wait. You wait, believe but, she couldn't the, challenge. The get, that's what I'm saying. The, and then the, about, go ahead. Wait, but, but the, the getting at, it's just, it's so weird because like, this is what it feels like right now, Trini. It feels uh -huh. like you're trying to tell me, you're trying to say in some way that I'm like making this argument. And I'm trying to just go, I'm not. And it seems like uh -huh. we're not agreeing about that. So I'm trying to understand what, like, what do you mean when you say I made it? And you're not, you're not saying I directly stated these propositions. Correct. You're you're not saying I believe these propositions. Correct. And you're saying that they're implied by other statements that I made? Yeah, that's not that crazy. So to, for instance, wait, but to, to, to say that they're implied, what what uh -huh. is what does that mean though? If they're if they're questions, right? If it's a how does a question imply like what it all right, does it imply that I have a given belief? Like, what do you mean when you say it implies something? Okay, so, like, if right now you would just ask me, are you being stupid on purpose, right? I'd be like, okay, so he's trying to call me stupid, correct? Now, you can say yeah, the you, differentiator wait, 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 is wait, belief. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. You're saying a belief, like, right? Right. You, wait, right. You'd, you'd, you'd be presumably saying what I would take you to mean if you said I implied uh -huh. you're stupid. I take it you'd be saying that my underlying belief is showing, right? Like, right. I have a belief. Yeah. But that I but that saying that that saying it is the case that I have. But I'm not saying that's the parallel. The parallel that I'm making is that you can accidentally like make some sort of question that seems to more or less reveal some quote unquote hidden, not so hidden for some people, like belief or statement or curiosity or thought. And so that's just the first. I just want to make sure that we've established that we understand that you can have certain questions that do get at certain and when i say get at, i mean that seem to imply or seem to suggest particular ideas right so that's just the Wait, first that's, part that's not mm -hmm. that's not what we're arguing about though right i i didn't i told you i don't think it's radically unreasonable okay, okay. so then the second thing like this 
Yeah. So, so then the second thing would just be so for instance, right? If we could agree on the question thing of like some sort of implied belief, if someone goes, Hey, you know, I think I could really defend uh that racism is wrong, right? It'd be like mm-hmm. I mean, are you sure that you can like obviously implying? And that's what I think it's more up the alley of like, you're very skeptical that she can challenge such a proposition. Like, I mean, I am. Well, no, that's, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, we're looping, so we're looping I take it equivalent to you saying like, that's oh, are you really though, sure? Though. Yeah. But I take it as you yeah. saying, are you really sure you could like, you know, go against something like that? So when you say yeah. racism, racism isn't a proposition itself. Racism is wrong as a proposition, but I'm more or less getting at the looseness of natural language to begin with. I'm saying that this is what I'm getting from my understanding of your use of natural language. That's all. Okay, and I'm I'm not mm-hmm. I'm not telling you that that's some like radically unreasonable takeaway, but when I'm just trying to say when you say I implied this argument, what that means is really this is what you took away. It doesn't mean I actually have the beliefs. It doesn't mean that I stated these propositions and it doesn't mean i stated anything that entails these propositions it just means that's the takeaway mm-hmm. from that. yeah that's what i okay. said from the outset uh, yeah i admit that it's okay. speculative right? i'm not saying that i have some sound deductive argument which will necessarily determine that you actually believe this without a singular shadow of doubt no i'm just saying that that's the impression i got and merely okay that. and mm-hmm. Do you still do you still have that impression now that we've spoken about it and i've read the exact proposition and said Okay, when I question my beliefs, I am not finding that in there. And in fact, my doxastic state here. That's what I thought from the get go. Like, if you want, I can show you the Google Doc where I originally wrote this. The only reason I put basic argument wasn't to say that this is your belief. Like, if I put basic position, and maybe maybe that's like the looseness thing that we were just establishing. If I had said your basic position, I think that what you're saying would make a lot more sense. But I used the word argument so as to be like, okay, this is like a devil's advocate argument. I don't actually think so. In fact, I think people in the comments literally asked, like, wow, is he, like, racist or something? And I think he even commented, like, no, I think it's more like he's just putting this up. But I think it's a really, like, weird thing to put up. Okay. Well, for mm-hmm. the record, I would make the same kind of claims with, like, speciesism or sexism or whatever. Like, these are all things that I don't Yeah, like, you think they're, like, right? subjective norms. No, I get that. Yeah, like, you understand, like, th- this might all, maybe it's all stemming from a bigger divide of, are you, like, a moral realist? I am, but yeah. I actually came at this video from not the perspective of a moral realist because I thought it was superfluous. My basic thing is yeah. just I don't even think normativity here is really like meaningful because presumably what we mean by rationality is a your ability to fit into some rational norms. But I don't even think we need to get to that because I think it's the okay, second what, thing that I address, which is just wait, you know wait, wait, possessing we're, we're all true beliefs. Oh, my, my bad. Going, Go ahead. We're, Go we're ahead. going around a bit, a bit too much. Well, wait. No, I think someone can be rational and have false beliefs. So we probably also have a different understanding of rationality. Um, like, I don't think people in the past who had like wrong scientific beliefs were like necessarily irrational. They might just have had. They might have had the beliefs that were rational. You would say they're perfectly rational. Wait, I'm not saying any human is perfectly rational. No, no, no I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, like when you say perfectly rational, presumably you mean also possesses all like correct beliefs with uh, sound reason, right? Or at least not, that's what I not, take it to be. Not, not necessarily. I don't. Okay. I think that. Yeah, it's it seems like possible for someone to be perfectly rational and to have false beliefs. Um, but if you say someone's like perfectly rational and has all knowledge, then maybe that's not possible. But either way, that's kind of mm-hmm. cascading off into like what we what we might mean by rationality. Sure. We can we can get there if we need to. But I think we're we're near. I hope we're near agreeing here. But mm-hmm. okay. So what we agree. So what I'm granting to you is I don't think this is like a radically unreasonable takeaway, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's not crazy to me that you watched the video and took away that this is the devil's advocate argument that I'm running and not my actual position. OK, mm-hmm. but we also so that's where so I agree with you on that. And then what you agree with me on is that I don't have these beliefs. I didn't say anything that in that video <laughs> or elsewhere that I know of, but at least in that video mm-hmm. that um, entails um, these propositions. And that when you say I made this argument by accident, you're you're really just saying you took this away from what I said, which again, yeah, is not to from say you were, uh, to, yeah, it's a speculation. Yeah. I'm not saying this is okay. knowledge. I'm not saying this is a fact per se. What yeah. I am just saying is that I believe this to be true, 
without some sort of underlying sound reasoning. And so that's what I think about most social interactions. Um, that, that's kind of like the purpose of like symbolic logic to begin with. Like we want to try and disambiguate a lot of language. So obviously I understand the natural language can be a little loose like that. And you perfectly could have not meant that, but that could have been my takeaway just due to the ambiguity of natural language. I understand. Yeah, I that. think I think that our our qualm here has just been at some points talking about your takeaway versus talking about me accidentally making an argument. Because I, as far as I understand, in your mind, those two things mean mm -hmm. the same thing. And once I think of it like that, I'm like, oh, it's fine. Because when he says I accidentally made this argument, all he means is that he took that from what I said and that it wasn't intuitive impression. Yeah, mm -hmm. that it wasn't radically implausible for him to have done so. And that I don't, that's fine. But mm -hmm. I thought when you say you made it by accident, I was taking it that you might be saying something stronger, like that I actually- Like something speaking to your actual beliefs or yeah, like an implication like, of your beliefs? No. Yeah, like that I either have these beliefs or I somehow have them but don't know them or that I um, said statements that like entail these propositions, mm -hmm. even if I don't believe them. But as long as, yeah, so we, I think we agree with, I think we're agreeing here. We agree none of that's the case. We also agree- that you you had this as your takeaway and you weren't radically unreasonable to do so. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so fine. And then and then just kind of like to sum up the part that's important for me there is if someone, and I'm not throwing this on you, okay, but if someone were to say, this is ask yourself's position or this is the devil's advocate position he runs, we both agree that person would be wrong. Like it would be yeah, strong. Yeah, person would absolutely be straw manning. So like, obviously okay. it's similar to like the, the, the Seth thing that I mentioned at the beginning, or I myself have argued for things in devil's advocate. Like I might argue, for instance, you know, pro-life just for the sake of arguing it. But that doesn't mean any of the arguments I put forward, I believe. Or if I accidentally make an argument implying that feti uh, fetuses aren't, you know, actually human, I could totally not believe that, but have made that argument in the context of like an accident because, you know, I'm devil's advocate. I might make arguments that are supposed to be from the perspective who believe that. But I don't actually believe it. It might be just ultimately a test for whether or not the person I'm speaking to is actually capable of dismissing or in some way meaningfully refuting what I've said. Yeah, you could. OK, but also we, we understand there's a distinction when you say accidentally make an argument. You could accidentally make an argument by accidentally actually stating the propositions or stating yep. the propositions that entail the propositions in the argument. That's that's I'm just pointing out that's a slightly different um, type of accidentally making an argument than the type yeah, of yeah, yeah, they're, they're not the same yeah. yeah i can see where you would get that impression like i said i can see why you had the impression that i made some kind of claim about your actual beliefs or the implications of your beliefs um i don't blame you at all for that it's the same thing that you said to me you can see how that's reasonable for me to get a certain takeaway and i'm saying i get that impression now now that you've explained i can see why you would get that impression but you know if you're only to take my word for it or at least you know listen to my intentions as far as you can trust my honesty I am affirming that that was not my intention. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't uh, I don't think I have a problem with anything that you just said right there. Okay, so we can we can close this kind of phase of of the conversation. And I only sure. had two main main points, so that was one okay. of them. And and it seems like we agree there. So then the other one is just like okay, so granting that this isn't my view and that my actual view is I'm just not convinced that there is some kind of yeah, I think you're normally skeptical of most stuff aren't you like an epistemic skeptic um okay well that's that's a slightly different position I don't know that I have a clear um like view on epistemic justification okay um, I mean I think that like I think that there's some kind of contextualism going on about justification um mm -hmm. where like like well, I mean, this is kind of cascading off. Like, do you know what contextualism is? No, but I guess what I'm just trying to say is I normally take it to be the case that you are like, I mean, you're more than well aware that a lot of positions are actually a lot more complicated the deeper you dive into the literature. And I'm more or less the same, although I obviously have maybe stronger, like significantly stronger positions than you do. But I take it to be the case that for most things, you're not convinced that even like the trained philosopher has the best answer. God forbid we're talking about like a layman, like a natural vegan. So I just assume that you probably see yourself as closer to, you know, just the average person or somewhere in between. And so you just well, imagine. Yeah. Yeah. When you, when you say epistemic skepticism, I, I thought you were talking about like, you know, when people talk mm -hmm. about like the Munchos and trilemma and they're like, you can have like, you yeah. have like uh, infinitism or coherentism or foundationalism and they're right. all supposed to have problems and then skepticism is kind of the alternative if you reject all of those like 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not actually I, I really like you were skeptical of knowledge. So I just um, I I always assumed that you were probably not so quick to claim that you know things. Um, giving your sympathy to this kind of position. Yeah, I'm. I'm a bit. Well, yeah, I don't think I have. A, I think that. Well, this is a kind of an epistemic context thing, right? So, uh -huh. like, I'll use the word knowledge, <clears throat> um, but not usually in skeptical context. So, like, the idea with contextualism is like. Mm -hmm. Say you have some proposition P, it's like whether P is justified is going to be determined by um, this, whether there is a sound inference from some starting set of propositions that make up the given epistemic context to P. So like say we had mundane epistemic context, like you're talking mm -hmm. about, you know, like what you had for breakfast or something. You tell me like yeah, something ordinary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, a good example is in this conversation when you asked me about like proving my own beliefs, right? It's like, it's like there's a, in a mundane kind of context, we're just going to grant that a bunch of these things like the external world exists. People can accurately assess their own thoughts. You know, there's like uniformity in nature. Um, it's just a, a bunch of that shit is like assumed, right? Like when I ask, like, did you have Cheerios or fucking Lucky Charms? Like you're not going to sit there and say, well, like I might not have had either because it could be that I'm a brain and a vet, right? Like it's yeah. mm -hmm. appropriate to the epistemic context. But then say we had a skeptical context where we're having some kind of philosophical discussion or something. And you, you asked me the same question about what I had for breakfast. Well, then, I mean, the starting set of propositions, like the set that makes up the epistemic context, it's like way smaller. Like you don't get to start with like the external world or like the reliability of your senses or like any of that shit. Because in that case, we're questioning these assumptions, whereas we're granting those. And like you said, an ordinary context or a mundane right. context. Yep. Yes. So whether something is justified is going to be like a feature of the epistemic context, right? Yep. Um, yeah, so when it comes to justification, like, and knowledge, so I'll kind of, like, use the word knowledge um, when I'm talking in, <laughs> like, I mean, I'll use it in a contextual sense. I guess sometimes I'll use it in, like, a, a skeptical sense, but, like, really, yeah, it's, like, it's one, of, in one like of those words that, like, converse. yeah. I'm a bit skeptical of the like utility of the like concept of knowledge. And I think like when mm -hmm. I use it is kind of like a bit contextual. Like I, I say no all the time when I have like mundane context kind of things, I'll be like, Oh yeah. Like I know that like, I took a shit like a while ago or whatever, but mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use the word like knowledge much in like philosophical conversations because it has baggage and it opens up like kind of like a can of worms. You know what I mean? So sorry for going on for so long, but that's like kind of like, no, I know where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have a theory to answer your question. I don't have a theory of epistemic justification. I think there's some mm -hmm. contextualism about it, and I don't really use knowledge that like a whole lot. Um, okay. All right. So unless you have stuff to say about that, I can kind of like proceed to the other thing about this video. Oh no, 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 I understand your perspective. I'm fair with whatever phase of the conversation you want to take it to now. Yeah. So the only other thing is just um I'm not actually convinced that there is an argument for um for uh sorry how do i say this like the negation of that biological yeah, racism I'm, 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 oh no no, no. i I'm, okay. I'm not one second um racism does neither i just need to think about if it's the proposition or it's negation then just give me a second so mm -hmm. doesn't entail a false belief right so yeah not yeah so i'm just right so what i said in the video is i'm not convinced that it um that being a racist entails having a false belief or being out of accord with a norm that every rational agent is committed to. Now, I will grant something trivial right away, okay? If you take racism to mean something, if, if it's like analytic with a false claim, then like, you know, okay, of course. Like if you say you define racism as like, you know, this like false scientific belief that so-and-so, it's like, of course, if that's what's meant by racism, then we're, yeah, it's like, of course it's gonna tell a false belief. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I uh, I think that we're having a different because that's sort of like the point you made, right? You said racism basically refers to like something like race realism or some kind of like biological yeah. essentialism. About Etymologically, that's what it's been mean uh, or that's what it's been taken to mean for a long time, just historically in general. Um, you look at different dictionaries, you look through the, de uh, the definitions of racism. Um, part of them will be like normative, obviously. Like the, this idea of superiority of some races over others, right? That's a prerequisite. 
but it also seems to like dictate certain like descriptions. Like for instance, right, that we have certain ancestries of which we belong to, of which some are superior to others, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I, I understand that they're like that's a perfectly common usage of racism. And I'm not I'm not sure. Like I'd need to see some kind of analysis to know about like common usage or what people historically meant, but like there are there are um definitions you can find on like standard kind of sources like whether you go to like wikipedia or just like cambridge mm -hmm. or something yeah um yeah there's like you can find definitions on standard sources that aren't going to be like analytic with some like false claim about biology so what the compromise that i'm looking for here is if racism is taken to if if we use if racism i'm sorry how do i say this if when we say racism, we're using one of those definitions, yeah, of mm -hmm. course, they, it's just trivial. It's like, of course, it's going to be. Well, I guess it's not trivial because. But it, it seems to be pretty strongly the case, right? It seems very uncontroversial, I, right? Well, yeah, I would, I would agree with it. Um, okay. But but then that's half that's half of it, though, Trini. The other half that I'm looking for you to okay. agree with, which, which we might fight about, I guess we'll see. Okay. The other half is if someone is not using such a definition, right? Say that they have. A categorization schema, like according to which the same people fall in the same boxes, they're going to say the same people are Asian, the same people are black uh -huh. or whatever. And they don't have any of these like false genetic beliefs, right? Yeah. In that, in that case, someone who's a racist of that sort, they're not necessarily going to have a false belief or um, be out of accord with a norm that every rational agent is committed to. Yeah, I mean, if someone you so I, I'm gonna say yes again, so it doesn't feel like I'm just dodging. So yes, although I feel like that's trivially true, right? Because I feel as if we redefine any word in any greater academic or even like ordinary context. Like obviously, we can get very easily a conclusion that we're looking for, unless like you know there's an argument to be had that someone's willing to make about, for instance, whether or not someone's argument about a particular definition already assumes some sort of accordance and they might be skeptical about accordance being like or accordance relationships being even something that exists um sure but what i'm saying is basically like i think in the ordinary context and the broader academic context that i've seen and i'm not saying that i'm like a race scholar or anything but as far as i can tell it seems as if racism has particular descriptions not even just the prescriptions but certain descriptions they're just outright false yeah well there are certain yeah. ones that yeah, well, to if we're, if we're technical about it, the when you look at the mm -hmm. definition, it's probably not going to like be a proposition, but it's going to say like, you uh -huh. know, but I, I agree. I agree with what you're saying. Like, yeah, there's okay. going to be plenty of standard definitions of racism, according to which if one yeah. is racist, they have a false belief. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you um, remember the part of the video, because it's a short video, but I don't know how much attention you're paying. Um, basically, I just mentioned at one point, if you remember that I think that there are certain definitions of like race realism that someone could propose, like biological race realism to be specific. They could propose that. And I feel as if technically those would be true. I just feel like they'd be equivocative. Like, so this idea that what we mean by race is referring to some sort of shared ancestry in like some, some biological context. I'm skeptical of that definition because A, I just don't see it as relevant to what we normally mean by race in academia or just in ordinary context. And then B, like, if it is true, like, I think there's like a decent amount of evidence, so I might still feel like I need to look at it. But all in all, I feel as if like, yeah, if like you re uh, redefine it to this idea of like geographical race, for instance, sure. Like, okay, then I'd agree. Like, there seems to be a good amount of evidence. I think there's a good amount of like argument to be had. I would need to like second research that to be like, okay, this is definitely not racialism because of either some conceptual thing or there's some set of predictions that have been made or some sort of descriptions that just don't accord with like, you know, the research, but I'm not really familiar with that stuff. I just feel like it's a well, Yeah. So what I, what I want to grant is a minute ago, you said basically that it's trivial to like, you know, generate uh -huh. some kind of proprietary, I guess you didn't say proprietary, but to generate like a proprietary definition. According just any to definition. Like, yeah. Yeah. You could even um, yeah, like have a, some that a community shares. Yeah. I could have some that what? So like a oh, community, the community people, shares. Sorry, I, it just minority it didn't, of community. Didn't click. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it just didn't click right away when you said it. I couldn't tell the word. Okay. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> um, let me just remember my train of thought. Oh yeah. So I I would grant, um, I would grant that yeah. Like of course it's the case that you can always like 
if you put the constraint that a community has to share, it'll be obviously a whole different thing. But I'm just giving these as examples. I'm not saying this is necessarily the case or that's even yeah, my constraint. No, 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 no. that's, that, that's okay. fine. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to grant actually part of what you said. So what I, what I agree with is that, yeah, there's like a trivial response that you can always give to get out of absolutely any problem in philosophy right and i don't i don't know if you were making this exact point or if this kind of maybe like connects a bit to it but like whatever it's related so i understand mm -hmm. i can always just make up some definition according to which i don't have like some given problem that like i had with a with a previous definition or whatever right like anyone it's like weaseling like you can always weasel out by saying oh i actually mean this thing but i think the the kind of measure of whether it's re weaseling like setting all else held constant there's not other other yeah. shit to indicate like like you have like previous video footage of them like like defining it in the way that they're now saying they don't or like set, setting aside any shit like that i'm i'm generally not going to consider it weaseling if i can if i can look in like multiple di uh, dictionaries and like find definitions like that like it's common enough that's showing up in like multiple dictionaries it's it's looking at that point like it's untenable to me to say that they're they're like weaseling on their definition like they yeah, mean I'm not, something that is pretty, I no, 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 I'm not saying I, to, sorry I, I should be okay. clear that I'm I'm not saying that you're implying that but I just want to I want to kind of clear up um that yeah like when I'm using race what I want to say is I'm not I'm not referring to something that we both agree is trivially false or else I, I shouldn't say trivially because it's not trivial but it's like we're mm -hmm. we're not agreeing I'm not I'm not using the term to refer to a concept that we both agree is like pretty obviously false, right? Like, okay, I'm using it to refer to, you know, like, I, I mean, I don't want to be like Mr. Dictionary Man here, but you just look at these and it's like, you know, you see shit like this all over the place. Like one of the main uh, groups to which people are often considered to belong based on physical characteristics they are perceived to share, such as skin color, uh, eye shape, or like, I don't know, like what's the the Wikipedia one? I think also it's like- Yeah, group look at my human... video, I showed those. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. Yeah, grouping of human. Okay, so forgive me for repeating myself. Maybe just for the people listening, okay, like, a, a, a yeah. race is a group of humans uh, based on shared grouping of humans based on shared physical or social qualities. So it's like, you know, it's not those kind of definitions don't entail any like you know what what we would call like race realism, like what we'd see if we looked at like fucking like alt right people arguing the kind of shit they argue. Like we're not. It's not going to depending entail that. on. And maybe this is like we could get into the interpretation of these. So, for instance, right, believing that what we mean by race, for instance, is or what we tend to mean by race is like some sort of like biogeographical um, shared ancestry or something along those lines. Right. Um, I think those things technically do entail a type of race realism, like specifically like geographical race. And that's like the, the one that I think like people like JF will use. So this idea that there are like geographical groups uh, or rather uh, biogeographical groups who come from certain descendants, certain ancestry, certain lineages. And from those, we can determine whether or not people are of those like particular ancestries and then make sort of like um, statistics about those ancestries. Yeah. Like, see, so yeah. here, here's how I react when I hear that. I go mm -hmm. like, that sounds complicated. That sounds like it has a lot of science in it. I don't have mm. any idea how that's going to pan out. And based on some of the debates I've seen with alt-right people, I'm like skeptical that shit like yeah. that is going to make much sense. Okay. Yeah. So, but y you do agree that like, say I take the definitions that aren't explicit. So here's what we have. Okay. We have a bunch of definitions of racism. We mm -hmm. have some that explicitly like, like it's just undeniable. They entail race realism. Right. Yep. And then, we have others where it's ambiguous. And when I point to the ambiguous ones, yeah, to say, like the like same my, um, source. Like yeah. My, yeah, like my whole point too is like this is this argument's not uh, it'll work on some definitions, but it won't work on others. And those other ones aren't like hyper proprietary. Mm -hmm. So your your reply to that was to point out, well, even within that subset, that proper subset of the definitions of racism that don't necessarily entail um, race realism, it's like some some of them still like arguably do and it's like i can i can grant too i can grant that too but it's like what we don't get to and i don't even think you'd try to argue this probably is that mm -hmm. the entire rest of the definitions are gonna have that connotation right yeah i mean i would probably have to assume something inherent about each of those definitions which i mean someone could define race realism or just race as like whether or not i think um whether or not I think that people run or something like that and then be like, okay, obviously I'm not going to deny that. Right. right? Well, so, well, yeah, obviously. And, and 
and I'll just I'll just and say there, something here. Which, definitions, right? That like geographical race. I don't think that, and that's um that's the point I made in the video. I get that's a definition held among like certain academics, specifically like biology, for instance, or that's some that people even online hold, like alt hype or JF or people like that, right? So it's not like just one particular person thinks this, or even like two or three. It's like probably thousands, if not maybe even like tens of thousands. I just think that misses the the like broader conversations point, right? I feel like it's talking about something you know significantly different from what is ordinarily being talked about. Yeah, I'm inclined to think that. Well, okay, I guess I don't really know what. So this is this is like a bit of. Okay, how do I say this? We we can have a discussion about what we think people mean, and I I suspect we don't have radically divergent intuitions about that. We're not going to be able to really give arguments about this kind of stuff because we're kind of just mm -hmm. going off of like, you know, our argument is just going to amount to like, well, I won't even try to render it, but we're we're going largely just off of our like impressions here. It could you could put it forward as an argument, but it's going to be trivial for the other person to challenge. Yeah, maybe we could use like you know like so, um, like hypotheticals to test whether or not you think you know certain standards are the case. Or certain well, and, yeah, and even then, yeah, and, those are like still intuitive. Well, it's it's just it's hard to figure out always what what ordinary language is doing. Like I like the thought of ordinary language philosophy. I like the idea that like we try to capture concepts as they exist in the public. Mm -hmm. um, like when I see these all these crazy people attacking like like gender or something, it's like I I'm interested to some extent in trying to like capture what the public meaning. Well, I should say the public meaning, I think, is just sex, but like the public meaning among people who take gender to be distinct from sex is right. I'm interested in kind of like capturing that to see if the critiques go through or something. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's like we can we can try to do analysis and try to see what what we think people mean. But that that's going to be a kind of hard thing to argue. And I think I think we're going to largely agree about that. But what I'm looking for is kind of a concession well i guess maybe concession is putting it strongly because you probably haven't even disagreed with this but i'm looking for us to agree that given that they have a particular kind of definition a kind uh -huh. that isn't like radically proprietary that you can find in like you know most of the dictionaries that uh -huh. that kind of criticism isn't gonna like go through yeah 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 i would just accuse them of equivocating like i did in the original video well here can yeah. i say something else about so this is this i can't mm -hmm. make an argument for so you'll just have to you okay know, kind of yeah, i'll, I'll just hear you out go for it or not. So I, I'm inclined to agree with you when I look at popular usage of race, like I don't really think people are thinking something geographical. Like I'd see it just it doesn't really seem to me like what people are referring to. If I sat there, I could probably think of some like kind of when people are like I'm case. like black, they, they probably mean something along the lines of like, you know, if you look at my like and obviously I'm like overcomplicated, but they'll be like, yeah, like, you know, I'm African American, you know, my people come from Africa. I feel like that's not that hard to believe, at least for me personally. I think I think the idea that it's about ancestry is less like untenable than that it's about um geography. I don't think people are really thinking about geography. It could be wrong. But um, mm. what I also don't think is that people have any kind of like detailed like scientific view. Now, maybe you disagree here and you think that they have those like race. No, I don't think they have like 42 like research. No, I'm, I'm not, obviously I'm not saying. Yeah, OK, that's all. I don't mean that. I just mean like I'm not convinced that they have really like the kind of like scientific like false beliefs that you think they have. They, they might very well. That could be the case. No skin off my back if they do. But what I suspect is most of these people probably don't know shit about genetics. They probably don't really know. Anything. They probably just go they're probably just looking at physiology and there's some kind of like fuzzy categorization going mm -hmm. on based on like shared, like physiological shit. Like that's what I would personally guess. Does that seem implausible to you? Like you think they really, most people have these kind of scientific beliefs. I, I think it's like two parts. I think it's one, like a broad sort of like not, not even essential or essentialist, like, you know, category of, what it means to be, for instance, like white, right? Like they might have a set of like traits, like light skin, maybe some range of hair colors, some range of hair types. Yeah, like obviously that. Yeah. But I also think like people will kind of determine that partially on like geography, because, you know, when someone says like, you know, I'm African-American, you think, oh, their people comes from Africa, like on some level, right? Or do you disagree? I think you're like Canadian, so maybe it's not the same for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a Canadian, but like, of course, African American is associated with fucking Africa. Like, you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> There's a lot to make sure. Yeah. yeah. So. No, I, I'm just saying I don't think the this is kind of a side point. We don't need to discuss this, but it's just if we mm -hmm. agree on this, then it just makes everything easier. If if we happen yep. to, so I'm just throwing it out there. Yep. Um. Yeah, I, I just think that most people don't 
think much about science and they literally they just have some vague idea of like <laughs> the people who look like this are like black and the people who look like this are asian and they're just looking for things like you know like eye shape and like skin color and stuff like that and there might be like peripheral scientific beliefs but like i'm i'm kind of just skeptical of that like i, yeah, I, I think it's think more them like explicitly or if you ask them like what do you think race is what is a black person they'll be like okay so number one they have certain allows number two like, yeah i don't think that yeah right or even okay, like yeah, yeah, or they're from this part of like africa like no they're not going to be like oh he's sub-saharan african yeah yeah, because the thing is, like, I'm not going to have, like, an argument about that. Because that's going to be, you're going to have to, like, kind of ask people about their meaning or do an experiment mm -hmm. to, like, test their meaning or some shit like that. And that, I don't have any of that. But mm -hmm. I think we both agree. It just, it seems implausible that they have any, like, obviously the 50 papers thing is, like, of course not. But even something, like, seem, like mildly scientific, not that strong. It's, like, it still seems yeah. implausible. Like, it just seems like they're just, they have a cluster of fucking traits. They're mostly, like, physical shit. And that's kind of what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, so... So, okay. Right. So, and I think that, so when I look in the dictionary, I guess this is this, I'm hoping that I just state this and we agree, because this is my last point of contention. I really just had the okay. two, the, the, whether it's my position or whatever, if we agree in this thing. So, um, if race in the argument you gave, well, wait, let's not refer to the argument anymore. Let's just refer to. Yeah. Just like we, the, the argument we, in question. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 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 We're, well, I, yeah. And I don't, I, I more just want to talk about, whether there's an argument for the claim that mm -hmm. someone who is um sorry that um racism entails either a false belief or um acting out of accord with a norm that one has if they're perfectly rational right out of accord with a norm that every perfectly rational agent has or false belief right, right. That, i'm looking for for an argument that that is the case and i think we actually agree here that it's going to be very easy to give an argument like that if we take a definition of race, which again, they're not super proprietary. There are definitions like this, they're right out there, that uh, entails like race realism. And it's going to be not easy to give an argument like that <clears throat> if we take a definition that's like fuzzier, like it's about some set of physical traits, they're not necessarily committed to that scientific shit. Um, so, can we agree that whether the argument goes through, it's just going to be a matter of what definition you use, and there's perfectly plausible. Um, yeah, they're like minority definitions, definitions but, that, yeah, large amounts of people well, share. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there's perfectly plausible definitions that mm -hmm. go both ways. And we don't actually even, like, further, we don't actually have a reason to think, like, one is used more than the other. Um, um, in fact, it, just, it sounds like we're actually... Okay, the only like reason... We're even agreeing about that, actually. Yeah, so yeah, right. I, think, I think they're more or less in the same ballpark of, like, you know, general uses. Like, I don't think one is just used by one person. They're more or less in, like, broader community context it's just of the literature i've seen right like uh for instance i think it's the american biological anthropologist association you look at that for instance and they're talking about like yeah. race uh race essentialism about biological yeah. race realism and stuff like that says to me like okay that's at least like kind of what they're getting at at least out here in like american academics about that subject um you look through the definitions and they're more so talking about like features like, you know, I think they even mentioned like skin color or things like that. You look at Wikipedia. So it seems like these generally seem to point in that direction. But absolutely, there are journals that use this geographical race idea. I've seen people in day to day life use this kind of idea. There are even little intuitions that I have or little like um, cases I could refer to in my personal life that make me think like, oh, yeah, more or less. I think some people might actually mean this like, you know, I was saying a second ago. Um, when people say like, you know, I'm black, they mean a lot of the time African-American in the sense of my people descend from Africa. Right. So that might even be like an example of that kind of belief actually potentially being there about the concept of race for a lot of people. And I don't sure. think that's as uncommon as like proprietarily possible. Like, I don't think it's just like one person saying, it, obviously, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, Propri proprietarily possible might, might have been a misspeak. Just to be clear, proprietary is just saying it's like, like it's, it's, your it's like personal super, respect. yeah, super private. Yeah, 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 right. Exactly. Like I define couches like a star. It's like, okay, that's your proprietary definition there. But yeah, so, um, okay. So yeah, like, and I should say, I think that what academic journals say is actually like not going to be the most relevant thing here. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is we're talking about um, public language, right? And like the general public aren't anthropologists. They're just like people. And what we're talking about, you know, yeah, like we're talking about common use. So, okay. But yeah, I do grant that, you know, there's going to be, I wouldn't contest that there's anthropology texts that say the kind of stuff that you're saying. 
So do we do we agree then or do we still disagree about this proposition? The argument is going to go through if you so there's two kinds of definitions. Oh, I, thought that entail, yeah, I thought we agreed on that. Yeah. Okay, I just wasn't sure. So let me just restate it perfectly clearly and just make sure we agree. So there's two kinds of definitions. Some entail race realism, some mm -hmm. don't. They're both perfectly common. It's not clear that one is used more than the other. And according to one type of definition, the argument goes through. According to another, it's not clear that there's going to be an argument that goes through. Yeah, like similarly, like if someone does define gender as sex, they might be of the position that like gender is biological. And like, you know, obviously you would just respond to those people like they're kind of missing the point of the broader conversation. But if we grant that concept or we grant the definition, sure, they're probably correct. But, you know, obviously it feels like it's just not talking to the original conversation. So I so, think, okay. yes, like in that we're, sense. So we're, we're close here because we're agreeing about the fact of the matter, which uh -huh. is that whether the argument, whether there is going to be a straightforward argument that, um, again, the, the proposition we're looking at here is racism entails a false belief or a violation of a norm that any perfectly rational agent would have. We agree that whether that whether there's going to be an argument for that proposition, at least one that we can both like clearly see, um, we agree there will be an argument under the definitions that entail race realism. We agree it's not clear how you're going to get an argument like that under the definitions that don't. And then it sounds like the part that, so it sounds like we agree on all that. And it sounds mm -hmm. like the part that we disagree on is you think that people who are using the kind of, the other kind of definition that doesn't entail race realism are somehow like, they're like missing the point of the conversation, which would imply actually that like I'm missing the point. And I don't, I don't think I am. I think I'm using like a, like we agree. It's like a common. Missing the point in the sense of this is what race is ordinarily meant. And I don't think you're talking to the ordinary concept. I think you're talking about a different type of, and this is, um, I could tell you the journals if you gave me some time to find them. Like, I haven't read them in a little while, but there are some journals that basically say, like, yeah, there's race in kind of the ordinary sense. And that one seems to be a lot of the time very uncontroversially considered false. But, you know, there are more academic contexts like this idea of geographical race, which, you know, the science isn't completely in yet. So it seems as if that one's very, very controversial. Um, so okay. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Okay, we're we're a bit we're a bit divided there. We're because we're agreeing about when the argument goes through or not. We're just disagreeing about like the scope. usage and historic yeah. usage and stuff. Well, because it sounds like it sounds like you want to say like sure, like Isaac, what you're saying is is like true, but mm -hmm. you're you're like fixating on a kind of definition that like nobody uses or something like that. Is that like unfair or am I getting you? Right. No, not that nobody uses it. I just think it's like a minority. Like you could have a very large and loud minority. But if you ask me to like ballpark my intuitive feeling, like I'd say it's definitely less than half of people and maybe closer to like, you know, 20 to 30 percent of people, I think, talk in that kind of context. Right. Mm, that that's that's pot. Wait. And by that context, you mean geographical race? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's, the, okay that's the confusing. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about any def. I'm just talking about the whole set of definitions that don't uh -huh. um, entail race realism, right? So geographical oh, any race definition whatsoever. Oh, okay. Because we we both agree that the most common the most common way people talk about the race, as far as we can tell, is actually not going to commit them to any fucking geographic shit or any scientific shit. Really, like they probably are just kind of looking at characteristics. Um, um, it might. So this is my thing. I think if they affirm like you know the the concept that's described in dictionaries, I think it would for a lot of them. Um, but obviously there are going to be a lot of discrepancies, like whether or not they obviously even agree with it, or maybe they might, you know, mean it in such a way that isn't referring to that. I mean, people like Nick Fuentes, for instance, believe in like, I mean, this isn't even like racism in the ordinary says I still call it racism. Like I like some weird spiritual racism, like black people literally have different souls. Or <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I'm going to go out on a fucking limb and say, Nick is not the most, he's not representative of the average person. I, I know yes. you're not saying it, but no, I know. I, yeah. Okay. So I think we so, agree on that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the thing is like, I think that, I think that there's like perfectly common definitions which mm -hmm. are used widely, right? Like 30% yep. is all, that's already enough for me, but I'm not, I don't even think that, I don't think that we can really even get there. Like I think, so actually like we could stop there because that's enough to, for us to agree. We can be like, there's perfectly common definitions according to which the argument actually won't go through. I won't restate the fact that it does go through on some, uh -huh. I'm just fixating on the part where it doesn't. 
that's what's of interest to me. We can agree that there's like perfectly common definitions according to which it's not yep. obvious there's an argument that, yeah, so-and-so is, is uh, do I have to repeat or do we remember the proposition? No, I understand. Yeah, yeah right, okay. Yeah, so the, here, I'll, ju I'll just say I want to make sure we perfectly agree. Proposition okay. that racism um, uh, it entails a false belief or a commitment to a, a uh, or, or, or um, a violation of a norm that any perfectly rational agent holds. We agree that there's perfectly common definitions according to which it's not obvious that there's an argument for that um, that kind of claim. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then the only the only leftover thing that so that is that's really clearing it up. The only leftover thing is just we we seem to have a, a kind of different intuition about what people mean when they say race. I thought mm -hmm. I thought we agreed that most people are not like. They're probably not thinking about it really any science shit, or maybe they have like a bit, little bit of. To science me, it's there. like similar to when people will say, "Oh, um, America just was discovered in the 1400s by like Europeans." Like, I don't think they like even have a grasp a lot of the time of what that even implies. I think they'll just kind of you know hear it and then just accept it. I think it's similar to that. I think it's very limited, and it just has certain implications or certain commitments that they're not even aware of. Um. Okay, but yeah, I don't. I just don't know if that. If that, I don't think that we have to disagree about anything there, though, because like the only the only mm -hmm. we agree about the major points that whether yep. there's an argument depends on the definition. We agree that it's not the argument there doesn't really represent my view. That so we agree on the main things. It's just we disagree about uh, what people typically mean. But yep. like just just to, to be clear, because uh, like if people mean something that doesn't entail any kind of race realism, like that's perfectly plausible under these kind of definitions, like, you know, a group of people related by, Oh wait, that's common descent. So that's, that's the descent one. Um, yeah. I you mean like race realism and like the, the original sense you're discussing. Yeah. No, I understand. Well, I, I, race realism is like, oh, you mean like race realism, like I'm not even, not even race like, I'm bar racist. To... Oh, good. Yeah. I'm just talking about race. Like I don't know. Race realism is like an ideology. Like it's using that term makes it way too, it sounds connected to alt-right shit that I don't believe or, or accept any of that. Oh, we, okay. But, we can, uh, we could just call it like BRR, like something like that. <laughs> like, like my, my own. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, like we can just say, yeah, like, look, right. Well, do we want a little taxonomy here? Do we want a race, a race segregation for our race definitions, a little mm -hmm. taxonomy of definitions? Um, yeah. So we can just call like, yeah, we can say like, race alpha is like definitions that entail race realism and race beta is definitions that don't entail race realism. So like in any dictionary, there's going to be a ton of like race beta definitions, right? And those race beta definitions, I think it's like very plausible that those capture what most people mean. Um, do you think it's implausible that the race beta definitions capture what most people mean? Mm. Again, these definitions are things like you know, one of many, uh, yeah, the uh, fuzzies, groups, like which, skin color and stuff. Yeah, yeah like it's fuzzy, like physical, physical characteristics, characteristics perceived mm -hmm. to share skin color. I sh like, I really think that's kind of what most people are probably getting at, to be honest. Do you, do I you don't think, think that's, yeah, I don't know how uncommon I think that is, but if I had to vaguely describe, I think that's actually fairly uncommon. Like, it, it goes back to the thing I said. Like, if I ask someone they're black, they presumably are going to mean, at least on some level, for like a very significant, like, I would assume over 50%. Like, if I ask someone, at least out here in the United States, are you black? They're going to assume, am I asking on some level, do their people descend from the continent of Africa, right? And that just sounds intuitive to me. I'm not saying that I have some statistical data, uh, but that just sounds intuitive to me. Yeah, it's probably like heredity shit that's like in most people's yeah. minds. I'm just saying what I don't think is in most people's minds is like the kind of like scientific claims you need to like get to it being like clearly false or like violating of some norm all the rational agents are committed to because like we can agree like the folk notion probably mm -hmm. like connects loosely to like heredity and yeah probably connects loosely to geography although i think the heredity connection is probably stronger based on my experience but i, I don't really know i think it um, is stronger but i do still think there's like an unneglectable uh unneglectable aspect of like geography that people will consider on some level like i, I feel like it's got to be at least 50 percent like you ever ask someone if they're black? Like, I don't, you know, you know what I mean? Like, and they'll mention like, oh, my mom's white, my dad's black. And then, you know, their dad will mention like, you know, I'm from 
here and here. I found out recently through 23andMe, like, oh, my family's from this part of Africa, but they also have some uh, some connections. To these. I feel like that at least sounds realistic, and I've had people say that kind of stuff to me, um, and I've had situations like that, so it just feels very easy to be like, I don't know, there's a geographical aspect that's maybe lesser discussed, but I think it's still nonetheless there. Actually, like, I think it is lesser discussed. I think it's just I, outright lesser discussed, to be clear. I think... I think there's at least a fucking association in people's minds mm -hmm. loosely with geography for a lot of people. They're like black yeah. equal Africa, Asian equal like Asia. Like, <laughs> I think that that's going on. I'm sure. Um, yeah. But I'm just saying like the a lot of the race beta definitions like admit of some level of like um, um, they, they they admit of the concept of race being constituted like in part by things like heredity or geography, right? I'm just pointing out race beta, yeah, yeah. race beta definitions don't have to not be constituted by those kind of things. They just have to not entail these like false claims about um, like science and stuff, or like you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and 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 when it's clear that that's what I mean by race beta definition, like do you you really think that most people are using like race alpha? Yeah, I don't. I don't that sounds okay. like okay. All right, we so we we have we have divergent intuitions there. So yeah. we that's the kind of thing that like, I mean, we could sit here trying to give intuition pumps, but it's gonna it's gonna be like, like I don't think I have anything particularly strong. I doubt you do either. We're kind of going. Well, I'll say this there. because I feel like um I feel like you agree on some level. Like there's just I feel like when you talk to most people, right, or at least most of the people I've ever talked to, like I said, maybe you just have different experiences, but really like. When you ask people they're black, they don't typically like refer to having people descend from Africa. Um, I think that they probably have something about Africa like in their head. Oh, but, you just I don't mean, think it's like a strong thing they're hitched to, and so you would see that as kind of like beside think, or it, it could I be think, there, but it's more associative rather than like constitutive. Well, I think it's I guess associative versus constitutive is a slightly weird way to put it for for reasons I won't get into, but it's like Mm -hmm. I just think that it's probably a cluster concept. And I think there's, it's probably not like, you know, uh, like heredity might not be like an essential component of it or something like this, or, you know, it just seems like it's a cluster of things. It's like a bunch of physical characteristics. And I'm not against the idea that there's also some shit in there about heredity or like something like this, because if you, if you, oh, you're just like, I agree, I, essential for like the average person's cons. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure if they are. It might, there, like, like, they, there are people who think they're like black and will affirm that they're black, but not even have people come from like Africa in the meaningful sense of right. that phrase. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because okay. like I agree, I agree with you about your your intuition pump about if you like ask black people, I forget exactly you put it, but like you ask them about like Africa, they're gonna be like, yeah, like me and my people come from Africa. Like clearly, uh -huh. like I'm not gonna deny that there's like some connection between Africa and like what people mean. When you they just say think race, there are also right? a lot of people who don't do that. Okay. Well, I just, yeah, I just think that it might, it might be that like, like you could, for instance, have, have a concept where like, it's like a list of 10 things. And if you check like five boxes, you're black or something. And like heredity uh -huh. is like one of them, but like, you wouldn't even need to check that. And I think that probably, probably aligns with what, how a lot of people use the word. Just like you said, there's going to be plenty of people in like the States, for instance, who, uh, you know, everyone's going to agree like that person's black and they have like no fucking like connection to like like Africa or some shit like this, um, mm -hmm. but like I, I mean, no connection. I guess everyone comes from Africa in a sense. But yeah, unless you're a race realist and you and you think that that white people had some like separate origin and some like I don't know. Have you heard those theories? It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, have, no, like, I, I've old, I've heard a little bit about like alt hype and people like this. <laughs> yeah, like I forget what it is, but they have this like theory about like white people like having this like separate like evolution and like not coming from like. If something like that turns out being true, that would be really funny. But it sounds like some conspiracy theory shit. Um, so, yeah. OK, so when it comes to popular usage, like we're really quibbling over like kind of like a, a side point right now, because we agree about the main things. We're just disagreeing about popular usage. I, I guess that where we're at is just you think it's that people have more scientific shit baked into the meaning of race. Yeah. And they like, yeah. talk about race than I do. But even even on your view, you're still saying that like you suspect there's like a good 20, 30 percent of people who are using a definition that's not going to um, entail that. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so like, OK, so we'll, we'll I think we'll just we're going to probably just agree to disagree about how what we think the main usage is, because it's a very hard thing to establish unless you really want to sit here like trying to give intuition pumps. I find those kind of discussions are like. You know, who the fuck cares? We agree about the main thing. We could try if we want to, but whatever. 
And then even without agreeing about common usage, we can agree about what definitions it goes through on or, or doesn't, mm -hmm. or sorry, what, what definitions we can generate the kind of argument against that proposition on or not. And uh, we can agree that like minimally, like, like some fucking noticeable chunk of people, like, I mean, you said like something like 20 or 30, I'm not going to put a percentage of it, but I'm just going to say like an amount of people that's like clearly fucking visible. And like, you're going to find them if you just go and yeah. like, talk on the street about racism. Yeah, well, we agree that they're not using it. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure there's any uh, any disagreement at this point. Do you? Well, uh, aside from the popular usage thing, do you see like anything? Intuitive stuff. Yeah, I don't think we have a huge substantive disagreement. No. Okay, so something I would appreciate if you don't mind, uh -huh. um, I would appreciate if you can put in the description or a pinned comment or something that that's actually like just be like, I mean, I want to tell you how to, what to fucking do, but I would. If you want to leave a comment, I'll pin it and just be like true or something like that if you want. Yeah, I I could I could leave another if you want, but all, all I want is just something that conveys that it's not really. Like, so you don't feel like you're being like misrepresented. Okay, yeah, sure. I I think people are gonna look at that and think that I make this argument you have there. I think that's what they're gonna think, and it's just like I, I think there is a non-negligible amount of people that will do that, and my thing is just like I just tend to dismiss those people because I feel like they always come away with the most uncharitable interpretations anyways. I felt like the people that video was intended for, which were like people that I'm friends with or that I talked to, I don't think they would come away uncharitably. So I just didn't feel the need to like make a 50 minute long video explaining. Just to be clear, I don't think this is what he intentionally means. I think he accidentally implied that. They, I just didn't feel like doing that because it's like, I feel like those okay. people like stretch anyways. But yeah, I'm absolutely down to presenting a description. Or if you want to like leave a comment, I'll just be like, yep, agreed. Or, I'll pin it or whatever. We can do both. Yeah, just, if mm -hmm. you like, I would. Okay, I can do that if you want. But if if you don't, if you don't mind, because it's it's better if it's in the description than a pin comment. Like if you just put something there, like I've spoken, ask yourself, and he doesn't sign off on this argument or something like that. Um, yeah, I got you right now. Sure. Okay, thanks. I I appreciate that. Um, any any uh any other shit while we're here, or um, are we all good? We actually, hold on a second. Okay. Give me one. Mm. Yeah, the other people can talk now. I don't think we're really debating anymore. Yeah, we can do um, that. I want to, I actually want to work mm -hmm. out right now. So I don't, it's like, I don't want to, I try not to ever, try not to fucking miss workouts, like go into the morning. So it's like 11. Oh, no, definitely do. That's more important than some like random conversation. Don't worry about it. Um, but I am happy to talk about objective morality. You seem reasonable. Yeah, we can enough. talk about it at some point. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna hash it out, I'm definitely down to. Um, I appreciate sure. that that uh, little correction in the description. Uh, thank you. Um, and like any any other shit before uh, before we call this conversation. Yeah, I mean, do you have anything else you want to clarify? Because I feel like obviously you came into this thinking I like meant a lot of things that I didn't, but I feel like I've clarified that you know that wasn't a lot of what I meant. And so now we're just at kind of like intuitive disagreements. I feel like I've come away with my video being intact, but also you feeling like you're not being attacked or slender as like some kind of like weird alt hype derivative person. So I feel like we've, I don't know, we've made good headway, right? <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. I think so. I think, I think the video is perfectly intact as long as it's clear it's not attacking my position. That's, that's kind of the big, the big like thing there. But I mean, we, we agree on that. Like, yeah, I'm not going to raise any issues with the point you're making given uh, how you define your terms and stuff, of course, it's just going to be like pretty straightforward. Um, okay, well, yeah, no, I, I don't really have anything else. It was just those two points for me, the uh, whether the argument represents my view, mm -hmm. um, which we, we agree about, and there's uh, confusion about what your intentions were. I mean, when I saw Ask Yourself's argument, that um, I think it was fair for me to take away. Just like it was maybe fair for you to infer that I meant something like that. I think it was fair for me to take away that you're saying this in my view. But yeah, I can um, see as I didn't even think you'd watch it to be honest. I was like, yeah, he might watch it at some point. But I can see why you, as someone who's not familiar with me, would absolutely be like, oh, he's trying to imply that I'm some kind of racist. Yeah, my bad. Well, not even imply that I'm racist, but just imply that that's like my those thing in the arguments is like my beliefs or something. Okay. But, yeah, like, um, okay, so yeah, that, that was really just that point. And then the other one about how, like, it's not obvious that this is going to be true if we use a different definition. I can, on the other side, grant you it is obvious on certain definitions. Um, so yeah, we, we agree. Um, we just disagree about common usage. That's fine. Uh -huh. we, we still agree largely about it. We just don't agree completely. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else. That's it for me. Any, anything from you or are you good also? 
Oh, I was going to ask you two irrelevant questions. Number one, yeah, do you remember that Noodles kid? Yeah, he's an idiot. He's supposed to debate Avi. <laughs> true. You know, you mentioned two things Fucking that relate true, to dude. today. Noodles is supposed to debate Avi about the Holocaust. And oh, Altai, oh that was God. the other thing that relates to Avi. We tried to set that up. Avi used to correct him on, like, his burning body calculations and stuff. But, yeah, what about Noodles? Oh, no, I was just going to ask, like, you know, what's, what's like... The thing is, I've heard that apparently you're scared of him, and I'm like, I don't think that God, you're apparently afraid to talk to it. That's not um, true. Yeah, I mean, I'm horrified at the noodles. Well, there, there's a discussion that we had online. Did you see that? Where he was just like, yeah, let me give you an argument with no propositions and be like, yeah, I won, therefore you lose. Like, fa yeah. Famous, famous well, this, square this is... circle llama. I remember that one. <laughs> Well, yeah, he was he was trying to argue. He said he said that he can he can argue for any position. So right. I was like, I kind of like as just as a meme. I was like, well, well, can you argue for the existence of square circles? And um, he tried to argue for that. Um, and mm -hmm. the arguments didn't really work. But then at one point, I pointed out like, oh, you can take this kind of like, you know, uh -huh. uh, what I call it, like a pyrrhic pyrrhic. No, I wouldn't call it that. I would have said. Um, the weasel weasel pathway oh win, win on a tech win on a technicality i probably would have said i think i said uh -huh. win on a technicality weasel pathway is fine also where you just say oh when i said i can argue for anything i meant that i can deliver invalid arguments for anything or unsound <laughs> arguments for anything <laughs> right and and he, he actually then took that pathway and said oh you concede you concede and it's like well yeah like i agree but it's kind of it's kind of slimy to frame that as a debate win because that suggests that like at the start of the conversation, I didn't have the opinion that you can generate unsound arguments for anything. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't generate an argument for something that's not a proposition, but like, you know, obviously mm -hmm. I agree that you can generate, like, of course, I can just be like, look, if, if cats fly, then like Superman exists, therefore Superman exists, right? That's like an unsound mm -hmm. argument for the existence of Superman. Like, of course you can do it. Um, yeah, a lot so, of them do so, this. Yeah, they do that well, weird sorry, thing. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let you finish. Sorry, all I was going to say is no, it's, it's kind of, it's, kinda, it's, it's shitty to be like, well, looks like I won. It's like, well, you didn't really make a case or anything. Like, you came in and said something, which I interpreted as you saying you can actually make an argument, and which I, I think you meant that, probably. Then when that turned out not to be the case, and I pointed out a kind of technical <laughs> the way to win on a technicality, you, like, hopped on it, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I, I said it as a joke, not thinking anyone would seriously do that, but then he did. Um, and all I'm saying is just it's, it's dishonest to frame it as a win because the suggestion is that there is ever, like, a point where I believed otherwise, right? It's just right. Kind of, kind of like lunacy. It's like when I debated Rem, and he defined epistemic. Re like I've said, I'm not convinced of epistemic realism. He just he said a sufficient condition for epistemic realism is not having the belief that people can think atemporally. And then after the fact, when I when I said, yeah, okay, I don't have that belief. He said, you're an epistemic realist. He went and touted that as a win. And it's like, well, but that's the same thing as noodles, right? Like. Do you think that I went into that conversation like believing that people could think atemporally? Right? It's kind of I just find that chintzy. But sorry, what were what were you trying to say, uh, Trin? No, I was just going to say that a lot of them do that. Honestly, for the most part, I would not even recommend it. I would not recommend talking to a lot of those people because what they mean by win a lot of the time is just trolling. Like that's what they mean. Like they can just like kind of troll you, and that's about it. Yeah, that's brutal. You, you um, said you had one other thing also. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to ask. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. I was going to ask, dude, what is up with that Jack Angstrike thing? Because I was told he was a pedophile, and I saw some pretty convincing evidence. I even made a video about it. I don't know if you saw. And, like, I don't know if maybe, like, there was something, like, wrong there or something. But I'm just so confused as to, like, what's happening here. Because I know he's in your community. I know you're friends with him. But apparently he's making not only really weird comments. And I've heard that in the past. You know, um, you know Matthew slash Jade? Jacket, yeah, yeah. He accused Jack Engstrike like a year ago of just making really creepy comments towards him and just like basically coming on to him. And I was like, Yeah, but you lie about stuff, so I don't, you know, I don't know if I believe you. But then, yeah. like, yeah, then these like weird little like jokes come out, and then apparently he like does unironically like sexualize like underage people. And so I was just so confused. I'm like, Wait, uh, maybe he wasn't lying, I'm not sure, but. I don't know. I guess, like, you know, what's your thing on that? Because I got those pictures from your community post, and I guess I'm just so confused here. Um, yeah, so with Jack, I know Avi could speak to this also, but um, mm -hmm. 
so for the first thing to say is just like whatever Jade says just has no like I don't trust that person. So it's just it's like well same like, yes kind of, yeah. <laughs> same yeah I've met him before yeah so in, in real life no no no, no definitely right. not real life right. you know. yeah it's like you I'm not Jack. that's not my thing kids. No. Yeah. no I'm not Jack. don't worry. So, so yeah, with with Jack, um, my view is like I don't really know. Like I'm not I'm not actually clear if Jack is a pedophile or not. Um, if he if he is, then um, you know, well, I don't know. I'm not I'm not exactly like I don't like the thought of pedophilia, but I don't um, I don't think that pedophiles are like necessarily bad people. Um, I think that it's kind of like well, I talked about this with Legend and Seth a bit earlier. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like the way I view it. The reason why I say that is I think, I think like, look, pedophiles are like the most hated fucking group ever. If you a ask people, should pedophiles be like put to death and all this kind of shit? It's like, yeah, it's like, they're less accepted than any group. Imagine saying you're a vegan or you're trans or whatever at a table, then saying you're a pedophile. Right? It's like, okay, it's just obviously things, none of them were like the other. But <laughs> so, well, well, I'm just pointing out relative to other identity, right? You might, you might say okay. pedophile is a kind of illegitimate kind of identity in a way the others aren't like, that's, no, that's no, all fine. Like, that's just, I was just like joking about the severity. No, yeah. don't worry. Well, sure. <laughs> well, I, yeah. So the idea is just like, like, it's like the most hated thing fucking ever, like one of them. Mm -hmm. right? And the way the the thing that I think about pedophiles is like, I think that we have to like distinguish pedophiles from child molesters and we have to picture this case. Okay. I don't understand. I don't know if pedophilia is a, like a genetic thing, like you're born with it or if it's, it's just some kind of mental state. Yeah. It's some kind of mental uh, state. We don't know the origin of, but it seems to be some kind of like mental state. Well, yeah, it's definitely a mental state. It's just, I uh -huh. mean, being attracted to kids is a mental state for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not, yeah, it's not clear to me if it's genetic. It's not clear to me if it's environmental or maybe it's both. And it's also not clear to me if it's like immutable. Like, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if, like, I mean, obviously it's logically possible you can change it, but I don't know if, if it's like within people's ability to change it. So right. what, I, what I'm looking at here is picture a person who through no fault of their own goes through life experience or is born um, such that, they're a pedophile mm -hmm. um, and they none and they don't have the ability to change it. And they nonetheless, despite being attracted to kids have like higher commitments, like to not causing suffering. And they go like, yeah, I, I have this thing about me, but like, I don't act on it. I keep myself away from kids um, just to, to utterly reduce the chances to zero. And I am, um, you know, like I consider it deeply immoral. I've never like molested a kid or anything like that. Like I'm gonna go, okay, sure. Like I'm all for like eugenics purging those people like out of the population, right? Like I agree that to the extent that we have pedophiles, we're gonna have more child molesters. We want to get rid of it. That's fine. But mm -hmm. that person who's kind of had this mental state like thrust on them and who's like kind of like born that cross um, and done their best to be a noble person, like right. I don't want to say that person is a shit stain. Um, do you? No, 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 I agree. So this is my thing. So if you're like a pedophile on Mars and obviously you just have no capacity or real intention, even if there were kids to do anything and you just kind of like exist in isolation or something, I'm not going to be like other than maybe for associative like underlying biases type reasons to be like, oh, this person is a bad person. I think when I really scrutinize it, it's like, OK, that person could like if we're being very, very, very like technical be possibly not like a bad person obviously right and then obviously it depends on kind of like you know the scope of people who do this it actually seems like you know from the research i've seen these people aren't as common or as uncommon as, as most people would think i think these people actually seem to be decently common but i'll also say this i feel like jack it's not even like the fact that he just seems kind of like pedo-ish like i would just say a pedophile it's more the fact that, like, you know, he talks to, like, underage kids and stuff, and then they're, like, little room. It's not even, like, Jade was the only one, but, you know, those are serious allegations. It's very difficult to just accept them, especially, you know, from, like, kids on Discord and stuff. But I've heard that, like, just a few too many times to be, like, yeah, that's illegitimate, especially when you guys talked to him. And he was, like, yeah, like, you know, I basically think, like, 15-year-olds and stuff are hot, but, like, doesn't everybody? It's, like, uh, I don't know, dude. Like, that kind of person, I would just be very reluctant to, A, be friends with, or B, keep around. Just because, I don't know, they seem like a danger well, and shit. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm sure there is some 15-year-old who, if you put them in front of us, we wouldn't be able to tell they're not, like, in their 20s or something. Like, I can grant that. But to say to say on average that 15-year-olds are, like, attractive, it's, like, kind of hilarious. Like, 
I, I'm not going to pretend that any person who's underage, you can put them in front of me and I'm going to know that they're underage. Like once you say they're like young enough, you're gonna be like, okay, I can tell when someone's fucking like 11 years old or something. Yeah, I but, have um, a weird sexuality. Like I'm like, I'm the the like personality over like appearance meme, like, like legitimately. Like uh, it's like apparently like a type of like asexual or something. I don't know. I don't fucking care really either. But yeah, I know. So for like a, if a little if a little kid yeah. like yeah if a little kid has like a really good personality. Yeah, it's like, like if a really kid if a real if a kid has like a really good personality, like you'd be like into that basically. No, because I don't think that kid has I'm, like. I'm yeah, joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. Okay. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm I, obviously I'm, joking. I just want to make sure I'm not the second Jack Ang strike here. You know, like I got to be no. careful. And then, and then as for Jack, so I want mm -hmm. to establish kind of the ideal case, which is the like, you know, the, the like noble pedophile or whatever. Um, people will push back pedophile. on that. But I think it's insane when people push back on, on that also, because it's like, you're just saying that you just want this guy who did his best and didn't harm anyone to suffer. It's like, that's just horrible to me. Um, but so I start from the, the kind of least controversial case, the, the noble pedophile. Um, but then Jack is like, not quite that case, right? Like Jack is like, you're going to have instances of him, like making like weird fucking jokes and stuff. And it's like, is, is he even joking? And then yeah, he's right there, not the noble pedophile, if there is such a thing. Well, so here, here's, here's the thing with, with Jack. I'm not, mm -hmm. so I don't actually know. I'm not sure if he if he actually is a pedophile or if it's some kind of weird joke. I don't know. And if he is, I'm not convinced that he has done any kind of like immoral action. I don't think he's then, raped kids as far as I can tell. But yeah, yeah it but sounds I'm, I'm like just hitting on fucking comments. kids on Discord. Yes. Yeah, like do, doing mm -hmm. weird. That would be fine for me to say bad. <laughs> oh, okay. um, <laughs> yeah. So so I'm yeah, like I'm not setting the bar at raping kids. It's like any fucking weird shit to kids is fucked um but uh yeah so it's like i'm not clear that he's actually done that shit i'm not actually clear that he is a pedophile so i guess my overall take is just like i don't really know um but if it turns out that he is i would like kind of further say this like uh -huh. i don't really like disassociate from people based on their like fucking atrocious like beliefs or it's like the vegan meme attitudes. it is exactly oh like, man I, mean, I don't know dude now, I do think there's a distinction with the average carnist because the average carnist doesn't like know really. They haven't thought about it. But like, I mean, I have friends who like they're fully aware and they're just like, I don't care. Like, I just like animals taste more than I care about their well-being. I fully understand all the suffering we go through. Don't really give a fuck. It's like, you know, if someone like that has like is like sufficiently good at philosophy, for example. Right. Like, uh -huh. it's, it's kind of, you know what a pro tonto reason is, Trini? Uh, not off the top of my head. So like reasons can be oh, so a pro tonto reason is it's like a contributing reason right like mm -hmm. so the fact that um say that you did you know not really into like fat chicks it's like some girl being fat it's like that's gonna count it could be a determining reason where if she's fat you aren't attracted to her that implication goes through across the board like for all x if x is fat you don't like x or it could be mm -hmm. a contributing reason where it's like her being fat counts against you being attracted to her, but there could be overriding factors. Like she has. Yeah. It's not the sole determination. Okay. Yeah. You really want her money or yeah. Like some, some other shit. Right. Um, yeah, exactly. So like a pro tonto reason is a contributing reason. So someone being fucking like reprehensible is definitely a pro tonto reason against me associating with. Them. So like, right. If someone doesn't have anything else to offer. Like you can kind of bet your ass that like, if I if I have like confirmed fucking pedophile statements like that, well, not just pedophile, but confirmed like like not just like I'm a pedophile, I struggle with this, not noble pedophile, confirmed like like pedophile like, behavior. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's that's gonna be like you know, like absolutely like without any other reasons. That's gonna just I have this one protonto reason. That's enough to not associate. But if there's countervening reasons, like they're really good at philosophy, they have a bunch of info mm -hmm. I can gain. Like, in all honesty, I'm just the kind of person where, like, that's going to override. Like, I'm going to care more about that, like, knowledge and stuff than I am about them being, like, horrible. Yeah, because I'm willing to grant that as, like, someone who accepts vegan ethics, people might be inclined to be like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't, even if that's true, I don't know if I really care. And you might still befriend someone who eats a cheeseburger now and again, right? I recognize that. But I'm not even necessarily saying it's, like, a thing about principle, although I think that might be something worth considering. I think it's also just a matter of, for instance, in my opinion, just like how you emotionally register it, because I feel like even if someone, for instance, is 
in maybe an ultimate sense not that different like they brutally like murder and like someone skins cats like are they really that different from your average carnist like like well, in an ultimate are. sense I think yeah. I think they are actually, but I, I it's funny because I agree with your your whole analogy. We'll go through once we uh -huh. add like a little more, but the the average carnist I actually think is different. Okay, I have to get off in like five. Hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. I need to actually make myself get off then. But um, okay, yeah. The um, is that set? I hope that's set. Hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. Okay, sweet. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I know the, the Google right. Um, so. Uh, what were you saying? Pedophiles. Okay, remind me of the last thing you said, Trini. Carnists are more or less oh, yeah, exactly. people. Oh, right. yeah, exactly, right. Yeah, so so there there is a disanalogy there of, like, the person who skins the cat, like, they're they're actually comfortable doing that once they're faced with what's happening. Carnists, it turns out, like, a huge amount of them aren't, which is why, when faced with the facts, a lot of them, like, go vegan or vegetarian or, or like, start mm -hmm. reducing consumption or whatever. It's like that, anything, any reduction speaks to them not being totally comfortable with it. So I think what the, the more apt comparison is like, you know, a carnist who like fully understands what's happening or something like this. And yeah, yeah. someone who yeah. like, skins a cat. That. yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, like the nope. carnist who fully knows what's up and the person who skins a cat. Yeah. I don't see a fucking difference. Um, at least so not I, a meaningful. One. Yeah. So obviously I'm not even saying there's per se a principal difference that you have, but for me, it's like, okay. If someone eats a cheeseburger functionally, they're more or less similar to the person who skins cats, but even if they're like, you know, even if they're aware, they're basically the same, right? Yeah, uh, the, as far the, as I can the, tell. The mm -hmm. outcomes are the same. It's just my my judgment yeah. of them as an agent is different. Because in the case of the guy who does, who's not skinning the cat, he's like paying for meat. It's like, he might really like not have thought it through. Just might not fucking know. Um, yeah. Assuming they're both aware of the like action they're committing, right? Assuming yeah, that I don't equal. see much of a difference then. Once you say that, but I don't see much. You could be difference. friends with someone who skins cats? Like you don't have, have another like I, emotional reason to like just yeah, not I, want to associate with him. I have a friend who I forget if it was cats or gerbils or whatever. Oh my god, like, dude! What the he, fuck? He, he, he would like hang them from like coat what hangers the and fuck, kill, kill them and shit. Well, yeah. The thing is, like, th this is this is kind of like I mean, I might just be a bit weird here. Like, I of course find that repulsive, and absent any any other thing they mm -hmm. have that I'm interested in, I'm not going to want to be around that person. But mm -hmm. say on the other hand. Like, take the extreme case, okay? Say that the person who, who like, skins cats or whatever, say that he has the answers to every fucking life question that's important to you. Now, I, obviously, that's not the case for Jack. I'm taking an extreme case. but say No, I know, I know. Case. Presumably, you'd still associate, but maybe reluctantly. You'd be like, I don't really like the cat skinning thing, but, like, fuck, man. Like, this guy maybe has you a lot. Maybe me on this. I just don't think I could. I think the emotional, like, the emotional response I would have would just overwhelm Because, like, obviously, you can be friends with people who don't violate any, like, moral principles you have. But you don't want to be friends with them because they're just kind of annoying. Like you and Rem, I don't think that even if he like, you know, accounted for all the moral discrepancies you two might have, I don't even know if you would like someone like that because I feel as if you would just kind of just like, you know, just how he is with you. Just how kind of like rude and stuff he is. I don't know if you would like a person like that. So it's like that for me, right? Even if I don't per se have a moral principle that's in conflict with this person's behavior or intentions, it's very difficult for me to want to be friends with like certain people or want to associate or even like or even like tolerate certain people. And I'm just so surprised that you wouldn't feel the same way about, you know, someone who like creeps on kids or skins cats. Like those things seem very weird to me. Yeah, Couldn't no, like it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of known for this. Like I have a handful of friends who are like kind of crazy, like white nationalist people, or I have, you know, I'll be friends with like people. Corey like... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Co Corey is actually a, like, he's like, about as non-extreme as a white nationalist you can get. But I've like known white nationalists who are like, you know, like, <laughs> like kind of more full on Corey's one of those like like it's still like, in my view like an insane position but it's like you know uh -huh. ethno state for Europe only um if a uh, voluntary um cash incentivized deportation doesn't work then like don't deport like he's kind of he's kind of like even though that's still in my view a nutty position we can all acknowledge it's a step back from like deport forcefully if they won't deport ethno states in America and in Europe right it's like less uh it's a less strong position it's still white nationalist though but yeah no it's like for me people's like horrible preferences or whatever it's like it's it's a contributing reason it's not always going to be determining if there's like other factors there yeah that's uh it's not going to like seal the deal for me to like not mm. want to ever talk to or something yeah 
Uh, so yeah, and then with Jack, with with Jack, it's just like I don't know that he's a pedophile. Um, some of those comments are a bit weird. I'd have to like I don't know if they're jokes or what the context is or what. But if it does in fact turn out he's a pedophile, it still actually wouldn't be enough for me to disassociate because he provides like a lot of other value. Like you know he's very. Oh my god, about- dude! Like if he's because I I think. He already is pretty much converted. Yeah, well, like an active like a, pedophile. Like, I don't know. Like his yeah, philosophy he, he, he not be really like that murderer. worth it. Like if he had like discord in jail, I'd probably like talk to him. Or if something. he was a rapist, like you'd still hang out with him. I don't like. I mean, presumably, like he'd have to. The thing oh is, oh my god, dude. Hey Google, stop. Yeah, it's like it doesn't mean that I don't think rape is like disgusting. It's just I care more about like I'm gonna care more about getting the kind of like philosophy insights than I am about the character of the person they're coming from. Like. I can just it's just like I find it easy to compartmentalize where it's like, you know, that's gross. This is useful. Stick around for the useful. Um. Also, like, I'm I'm sorry. I guess we disagree about this part, but I actually I have to get yeah, off. I but I, yeah, I think mm-hmm. I think Avi actually has shit to say on voice, and I might listen while he talks. Sure. But I'm I'm for the record, I'm happy to continue this um uh later if one of you minutes want anyways. But yeah, we could talk about stuff some other time. But yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah if you guys have anything cool. to say. So my, look, I don't have a lot of battery, but my, I was curious my understanding, what I'll be able to say. My, my understanding was just that he was having a so Jack was having a private um, call or something with uh, about three years ago with um, with Marty, and um, he was making what he just told me is that he was making some jokes. Um, uh, I think it was three years ago. It might be four by now. I don't, I'm actually not sure. Um, but in any case, um, Marty hung on to those recordings for three years. Um, didn't do anything with them until um, Marty decided he didn't like Jack and then released them uh, this year. Mm. So um, when I kind of came to Jack and asked him about it, he told me they were jokes and that they were just released maliciously. And they were not in public statements or anything. They were jokes in a private DM um, or private call or whatnot. Um, this was back when, like, the Krillism server existed. Um, so then I asked him um, what his, like, view is. His view is, like, there are some um, women that are, sorry, there are some females under the age of 16 that he would find attractive. Um it would be crazy to have sex them because it wouldn't leak or aren't legal. I asked him if we, he would if it were legal. He said he doesn't think so now. Um, yeah, it's important to add like mm-hmm. this part into the end of that. Um, do you mind if I uh, like give my um, little opinion on this? Well, well, uh, I, well, right now I do because I don't have battery and I don't really like. I'm, I'm just uh, asking fine, my opinion, so I don't. I'm like, I don't know fine. who you are, and I don't know why I would. Continue, Avi. Go ahead. Go ahead, Brock. You're good. Um, So um, my understanding, look, I can only give you my understanding um, based on my interactions with him. Um, My understanding based on my interactions with him is he he may have certain, um, there may be certain individuals who he might be sexually attracted to that are under the age of 16, um, and he has no plans on acting on those desires. Um, even in, even in a hypothetical uh, scenario for legal. Now, when he says I don't think so, that's the terminology he uses, unless for his credence. When I when I ask him about any like sort of thing about what he would or would not do, and he's not like like completely hundred percent sure or can prove it or some way. Like even when I ask him about the trolley problem, the guy pulling the lever to kill one to like save millions or something like that, he's still like, yeah, I think so, um, or I don't think so. He'll, he'll answer it like even when it's like so obvious. Um, that's just a, it's just one of his eccentric things. Um, I could be wrong. It could be that he is a child molester. I have no fucking clue. I don't know. Him <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I, I, I look, but you could be a child molester too. Like for all I know. Um, um but I'd be, look, between the two of us, I, I'm not the one who has the, the soft child molester voice. Don't throw that accusation at me. Hold on. <laughs> like, goddamn dude. But no, I, I see what know. you're saying. I didn't know. You confirmed. Like... Wait, I, I, I know being a child molester associated with the, I, the I, of the voice. Bro, I swear they have like a voice to them. Not to be like, I don't know if that's racist to child molesters or whatever, but I don't really care if I am. But no, I see what you're saying to like, 
I, I see what you're saying. Like, you know, you don't, you haven't confirmed that he's a child molester. As far as you're concerned, he's told you he, he wouldn't act on that or he doesn't think he would. That's fine. I get where you're coming from, bro. I see your perspective. Um, it's definitely wrong because somebody who has the desire, as far as I'm concerned, well, and maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. You can tell me, right? Well, he what I'm saying, said he has like a proclivity. He hasn't even really told me uh -huh. that he has like this desire for girls. Like, it's just that there happened the way, like, the wording was there are girls below the age of 16 that I think are hot. Like, almost okay. every straight guy. Like, right. So, what do you think true, attraction way, is? Probably true. That's probably true of like a lot of people. Probably. I'm That's... sure, like, if they're. Okay. But I I'm going to stop you before you say some weird shit. Like, maybe, maybe we should just focus no, 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 on Jack. No, no, no. Well, I thought you just let me <laughs> before you, before you stop me. Okay, no, go no, ahead. My, like, just, no, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah. like I, I'm not. The, the claim is not that there's like you know the average person below the age of 15 like would be attractive mm -hmm. to like you know the claim is that there's a, at least one. Um, there are some, or at least two, really. If you want to say there are some, like there are people who mature earlier, uh, quote unquote. And by mature, I don't mean like I mean like physically. Like if you just saw a picture, like you wouldn't be able to distinguish them between someone who's over the age of eighteen. Um, this is just this, is, this should be very trivial. Um, and if you if you deny this, I think I take that to just be a denial of reality. Like it's okay. like, the, it's an Avi, like uh, I know, I know. Avi, what's your threshold for for consent? Somebody who can actually actually give informed consent. What do you think somebody needs to be able I, to I give take, that? I take the. I mean. Uh, so informed consent, I take to be well. I don't see how that's relevant also to what he said, but uh, I'll explain um, how it's relevant. Okay, yeah, sure. So, so I take that is, to be all right, right, right. So uh, I'll do this very quickly. I know your battery's done. Pedophilia is wrong because all of it is inherently rape. It's inherently rape because children can't give informed consent. They can't give a informed consent. Because they can't no, no, okay. no, no, I have to stop you. Because I have to, no, 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 no. I'm going to stop you because you said pedophilia. You're not going to stop me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. You can tell me I'm wrong. I don't need child molestation. We don't need to cut each other off, bro. We don't need to cut each other off. We don't have to get rude. We don't have to get rude. I don't have battery. It's helpful. It's helpful for me to cut you off because it'll save you time. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Let's help. Let's okay. be helpful. What were you okay. going to say, you bro? Said Go ahead. You said pedophilia is wrong. I just want to clear up that by pedophilia, I don't mean having interactions with children. It doesn't entail that. I just mean having certain, having a certain attraction, okay. or or so having think, finding someone. Mm -hmm. Someone. I'm not talking about ch child molesting. I'm talking about. Nobody's um, saying that. Nobody's saying that, bro. Well, you I said get what pedophilia you're saying. was wrong. You said so. It, by yeah, pedophilia, I said I pedophilia mean, is wrong. I, mean, I didn't say I just child molestation just anywhere in that, mean, bro. Yeah, so I just mean so when so just to be clear, when I when I say pedophilia, I'm talking of um or a, a pedophile, um, mm -hmm. I'm talking about ha happening to have an attraction, often one that can't be controlled. I mean, not by not can't be by not that that can be controlled in terms of actions, but not in terms of the desire mm -hmm. itself. Um, okay. and it happens to so. it happen to you before the age of now. The, that, is that what you want to say is wrong, or do you want to say that actions are wrong? Are you trying to tell me this is like an either or? I can't say both are wrong. Like, or what do you? Can you, you can say both. What do you, you can say both. I just want to just ambiguate. Yeah. You, are you saying I'm this is wrong? Or that is wrong? Or wrong? Okay. Are you saying? I think both are wrong. Is that okay. ambiguous? No, that's actually you. Now we're actually getting a lot of clarity. So then, so I want what I want okay. to know then is how. Okay. Is so I'll clarify mean? even more as I was going to before, right? So again, these things are wrong. Right. So I would say that pedophilia would be wrong in the same sense that let's say let's say being let's say being like a, uh, a Holocaust or Hitler supporter is wrong. Right. Even if you don't enact this. Right. This is this is a historically damaging belief that has led people to do historically damaging things, harmful things to people that have done nothing wrong to them. Right. It's sort of like owning a nuke is wrong, even if you never leave your house with it, just for the danger it presents. Right. Being pedophilic inherently makes you more of a danger, more of a risk of child molesting your neighbor's kid than not being a pedophile. So being more of a danger to people around you through that mindset is wrong. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so what do you mean by okay? We may just may just be a, a, a just a ambiguous, a certain ambiguous on what we mean by wrong. So, if by wrong you just mean it would be preferable if a given thing were not there, that's fine. Um, 
what I would say, I think words like bad capture um, or non, not as preferable capture that better because by wrong, we usually use that language to refer to moral agents, but I, you could have a proprietary uh, terminology for wrong then. Um, Can you clarify so wrong theory, for me? How yeah, you yeah. use it a little bit better? Yeah, sure, sure. So theories, so, so the various theories like determine the wrongness of things. So like there's, for, for example, like consequentialism or, or utilitarianism, they determine wrongness of, of an act. Right. Like, for example, we I would say that, you know, but, but socialism doesn't fall on that, but I get where you're going. Well, 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 wrong. Well, I mean, determining the wrongness or rightness of an act on consequentialism is just to based um, on the consequence, not the act itself. Yeah. Yes. On the the result, not the act itself. Yeah. 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 But but, well, well, the, the. the rightness or wrongness is indexed to the act itself. It's just the what makes the act right or wrong is the consequence that the act produces. No, so you're thinking what? utilitarianism. You're thinking utilitarianism, no, right? Utilitarianism so you get is a subset a... of consequential. No, I'm not thinking Look, utilitarianism. Utilitarianism is the no, specific no, subset. No, no, I know what you're saying, right? You're you're saying you're indexing the the morality of the act based on the result. That's utilitarianism. Socialism is looking exclusively you're, you're, at the results. Okay. So you, if you, so, so the results are going to be both determined by uh, both um, measured on, under uh, consequentialist or utilitarian. It's just the util- the difference between utilitarianism and consequentialism is utilitarian is a specific subset of consequentialism, which is concerned with utility as opposed to any consequences at all. But both of them determine the rightness and wrongness of individual actions themselves based on certain consequences. For a consequentialist, it could be all sorts of consequences. For utilitarians, and it's a specific proper subset of those consequences, which is utility. Right. How We've it, both defined both them. of them. We both have distinguished both of them. I think we can move forward. I'm so just giving what, you, yeah, I'm just giving you the standard. I'm just I hear you're going. I hear you're going. I'm just giving you the standard terminology as used in philosophical. I, I understand how you're, how you're wanting yeah. to use it. I think we're close enough to where we don't have to get pedantic right. about this shit. And so the main point you can call it pedantic, you have, but you're the one who brought it. You can call it pedantic, but you're the one who brought it up and said, oh, No, God, you well. brought it up. <laughs> this is on you, man. I'm sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. You're the one who brought it up in the context of telling me I was using the word incorrectly. So that's why I corrected you by telling you that actually I'm using it standard usage. Now, well, no, uh, you didn't correct me correcting you matter. because you basically you, repeated you, my definitions of the words you, in much you, longer you, fashion. You use seven. We, now I'm on seven percent of the battery. I don't know how long you want to you want to go do this, but to get to the point, hopefully we can have a we can we can get more to the heart of the issue here. Um, that's what I just so asked you to do. Saying, so, so, so why you're, why you're really not doing trying. that? Believe me, believe me, I'm, I'm I'm really trying. It seems like you're. It seems okay, like go you, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Seems like you're more concerned about trying to get some weird dunk that you were failing at getting rather than actually doing that. But, in a okay. dunk that's just this, I, seen, though. Me. I have um, like five things I want to do. This is not a dunk competition okay. for me, dude. Okay. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not okay. Well, then, let's, so let's hope, hopefully, hopefully we can proceed by um, with seeming that it's. Yes, we can proceed. Go ahead, man. Okay. So, so typically, words like bad are better um, at describing. Things that are uh, that are outside of a moral agent's control. So, for example, if we take a look at a volcano and a volcano erupts and kills a bunch of people, we all want to say that that's bad. But it was really weird to say that that's like a wrong. It was it was wrong. The volcano was wrong. Like, what is that? That doesn't even make sense. It's like that's it's not it's a really moral long-winded agent. explanation for seven yeah. percent battery. Okay. Can you tell me why it's why it's okay to yeah. be a pedophile? So, so, so I'm not. <laughs> Bi- okay, bio. See, that's <laughs> oh, the loaded line. Oh my gosh. Okay, so no, I'm not by bi- okay. If by okay, we just mean not morally culpable. If something is outside of your control, you're not morally culpable. For it. If by okay, we just mean, um, well, it's something that will be preferable or not preferable, neither preferable or not preferable, then I don't think it's okay. I think it's not preferable, and I would like to breed it out of the population if I could. If I, I'd like to, I, if there was a cure for pedophilia, I'd okay, say, so we're good. good. So we would both well, breed Jack's no, no, line of existence. We're on the same page, man. I under okay. So if we I, mean, I was if joking, we, I was joking before you defend if Jack. We mean, if we mean, if we mean that um, it would be preferable to not have it, I agree with you completely. If we All mean right. that the by bad, if by wrong or bad, we mean that the individual is morally culpable. I don't agree with you because that's not something that's in their control. Cool. I don't. All right. I don't. I'm glad we agree, man. Do, do we agree on that though? Do we think that? Yeah, we, I think it, okay. I think we I think everybody in this call agrees. If we could just get rid of pedophilia as a concept, like or as a gene, if it's a gene, like I think yeah, of I course. think we're all on the same page. I just wanted to clarify that with of you. Of course, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, cool. And yeah, and like, look, if if 
if I could snap my fingers and, and make it such that um, individuals, you know, wouldn't be uh, had to anyone within the po population of under sixteen year olds that they would find attractive, I would. Um, into oh. adults, I'm saying I, I would do that. Um, but if right. someone, I was confused. And the reason we even started this whole this whole little argument was because it sounded like you were contentious about me saying pedophilia was bad, and I was like, is that? I, I thought okay, this was all this. You said it was wrong. You said it was you didn't say it was bad. You said it was wrong. That's the where the confusion came. And, oh, I use them interchangeably. Well, I use them interchangeably. Uh, to bro. be fair, mind if I can cut in for just a moment? Hmm? Yeah, go ahead, Legend. I'm actually probably going to dip because I did not want to do this to start with, but I just wanted to clear that up. Okay, so I think me, okay. me, Seth, and uh, Ask Yourself actually talked about this. It was, um, you know, the child molester and uh, pedophile, like, equivocation. I think that's what was going on, to be fair. But uh, I'm glad things were sorted out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Like, yeah. like I said, like, I, like, this, I can only tell you what my, my view is and why I come to it based on my interaction with someone. That's My, my view is that, just as you, you said, um, uh, that there are some minors that he is attracted to um and he has no intentions of acting on them um, i mean that's that's where i could be wrong about that but that's that's what my credence is um yeah i i also do think those um it sounded like those clips were clipped out of context uh, as well um the reason Trey, i say are you is, streaming oh that's that's awkward Shit. I definitely Why didn't mean to stream my first discussion with Avi. Speaking of, Avi, the, part of the reason I wanted to talk to you was because of these screenshots, but I've also heard about it. But yeah, I've heard a bunch about you already, so you seem you seem cool from what everyone's told me. Yeah, so. I mean, look, like, like people have tried to, like, it's really weird. Like, uh, the, this, those screenshots, by the way, were, um, they were cut out of context. They were put out of order just to make it look, make not it look worse, but also make it look like I was, like, um, somehow like uh, like uh, supporting child molestation or something like that. Um, yeah, it did not look good. I, I, I know who ended up doing it. Um, they, they so they're like, I'll tell you like, so those, um, well, after I made a post, like putting it in order and in context, like that person, like, and I spoke to that person and they ended up quitting Discord, like they nuked their account. Um, Apparently they went into like a rage after it. Like I don't know why they would do that though. Like they put, I know they really didn't like Jack, or they really had took like the strong stance. I don't know why they wanted to include me in it. I was just trying to figure out what was going on. Avi, um, I think I is is the person that you're referring to, Sep. I think that may have been someone or the one. Yeah. 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 It was Sep. Hmm. And what an asshole. Fuck you, Sep. Yeah, he took he took all, he took the screenshots of like mod, a mod chat. Um, jumbled them out of order, um, clipped, selectively clipped um, screenshots that showed a different picture when put in context, um, and like presented it as if I, like my prescriptions were different than what they were. Um, I don't know why they did that to me. Um, I don't know why, yeah, I, I, it's really weird. Um, I thought yeah. that guy was cool, but I don't know. He fooled me in the end. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, I haven't, here's, like, here's the thing, like, I, I fully, like, acknowledge the possibility I could be wrong, but I haven't really present, been presented with any evidence other than, um, the, the things I have been presented with are things, for, for, um, which are, are, the things I've been presented with are clips from three years ago, um, that are, like, 15 seconds, um, appear to be out of context, uh, Jack claims they're out of context, and they're presented by someone who uh, notoriously does not like Jack and apparently had those clips for three years and held them and only released them after they got into an argument or something. Um, I mean, it's, it just seems pretty like, I just don't have any evidence for this, that he's like, has any intention of like, molesting any children. Um, yeah, but, but if anyone does have evidence for that, I'd be happy to see it, so. Well, I wouldn't be happy to see it. I would just like I would acknowledge it. <laughs> oh my god! Can we quote that, Avi? Can we take that out of out of context? Yeah, like, no, so? no, I wouldn't be surprised. Like with this, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd be happy to see you. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. Like this is the, honestly this this is the level where it's at. That's the level where this whole fucking thing is at. It's been such a fucking headache. Um, because all you like, I, and I have no idea how I got dragged into it. I just I just tried to figure out what was going on. So I guess that makes you get dragged into it. Whatever. Um, you flew too close to the pedophilic sun. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. So I mean, yeah. So like, it's just, yeah. People people are have gotten really worried about it. Um, yeah. So that's that's where I stand. Okay. Well, I don't think you're a weirdo. I think people like I don't know. It sounds like from from what you're telling me, people are just kind of taking out of context. You don't strike me as like a pedo or pedo eh, pedo defender, really. So yeah, you seem <laughs> you seem non pedophilic. I know it's a low bar, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, very, I'm quite quite non pedophilic. Um, most of my relationships are actually with women who are older than me. Most of them. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I guess. In fact, I'm, is there a word for for the opposite of pedophilic? I'm sure there is. Um, I'm, I'm not that either. He's like, I don't want to hear shit from you. You just said you'd like be fine with talking to this kid if he was a rapist and like convicted of it. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, um, Avi, you're cool. Right. Legend, you're obviously a goat. Same with you, Mr. James Daly. And D1, I see you. Thank you for the kind words. I know, I'm just, I'm giving everyone compliments today. I, I'm in a good mood, I guess. All right. Well, if that's it, then I guess, yeah, I'd be out too. Um, all right, good talking, guys. Yeah, good talking. All right. All right. Take care, man. That was interesting. Oh, yeah.